Ooh, wow. You guys are fired up in Discord right now. Let me just say, uh, what's going on, everybody? Hello, Coleman. Fellow humans. Yes, indeed. I have to find out what humankind is all about. <laughs> uh, what's going on, you DJ? Uh, honks? Honks all around first. I'd like you to know that I've had <clears throat> Rag and Bone Man stuck in my head ever since you mentioned this game, and it will be in my internal soundtrack for the entire this playthrough. Also, honk. <laughs> Fair enough. You're up early for how late we were up watching Anton. Nice. What's going on, True Kelt? Hello there. Hello there. How you doing today? Mm. Meds are taking me for a loop. Oh, geez. Midday naps for the win. Oh, yeah. For the twin, baby. <laughs> Morning, you, Balinor. How's it going? Bit early for that kind of fire, my man. <laughs> I was just like, dang. Uh, I haven't even... So... <laughs> Now the conversation's obviously turned, but, uh, hey, morning, Lady Iron. Um, the conversation's obviously turned on Discord now to something a little different, but, yeah, the thing is, is, like, I'm still processing what I think and what I believe, you know, and so I'm the type of person that I want to try to gather as much information as I can and try to decide how I feel about that information. Uh, I try not to make any just rash, emotional decisions, I guess, if that makes sense. Um... And I try to I try to gather all the facts, you know, or at least what I believe are the facts. Um, and so I'll talk about that here in just a second about what I feel about tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. So here by expecting workmen any minute to come replace my electric meter. So not sure how long I can be here. Sounds good, Pierre. Sounds good. Uh, except for you don't really want your electric meter replaced, right? So just lock the door and don't answer it. I don't know. Is that thoughts? Perfect way to approach it. Yeah, so um, I'll share I'll share some. I, I don't know when I should share thoughts. If I should share them now or at the end of the stream as I'm talking about tomorrow's plan. Um, I don't know what's best, but just suffice to say for now at least, okay? Um, I only recently heard about the day off Twitch. Um, <laughs> Balnor says share them now. Um, I only recently heard about a day off Twitch, uh, probably within the last like 24 hours. It wasn't long before it got brought up in Discord. Uh, we'll put it that way. I uh, I had heard about it, but not very long ago. Okay, so um, I had already sort of planned out my week pr prior to hearing about this, and so I'm the type of person like when I plan something, I want to stick to that plan. However, um, you know, the thoughts have been coming in, and I've I've honestly changed. I've had thoughts swimming in my head for the last 12 hours, you know, so <sighs> I'll share them here in just a second. So they were supposed to be here 25th, but no one showed up. So I don't have much faith. Okay. Well, like I said, I don't think, I mean, it's in your self-interest if they don't show up right from my understanding. So, um, yeah. Um, so my friends here, here's kind of my thoughts on, on tomorrow. Okay. Um, and Hopefully, hopefully I can I can say my thoughts and they they make it out the way that I intend them to. But um, I am mortified, okay, by the fact that hate raids are becoming more prevalent, more prevalent, so uh, that it's hard to even like if you're browsing uh you know if you use google cards or something like that um if you're browsing the web it's hard to not see a message about twitch that doesn't involve hate raids okay um that's terrifying because the thing is is that these people that are doing hate raids now obviously they they vary in scale so you could have a raid that just simply comes in and it's just uh, simply right uh simply comes in and is just spewing terrible things in the chat. And that could be the end of it. And it could only last for maybe 30 seconds. That's sort of the, the low end of the of the raid spectrum, okay? Uh, but on the other end of that, some people are getting such like intense hate raids that they'll go on for, even, even after they've stopped streaming, they will come in and, and like just load up the person with, with follow bot. Uh, and also they can continue just spamming the chat which I, to be honest, I don't really know what that does. Uh, but but while they're live, there have been several people who have had their personal information shared in their chat. Things like, um, you know, 
city address, um, just very like some personal info that that people don't want out there, you know. Um, and so they they these hate raids have turned into like dox raids, you know, uh, where people are getting doxed, and and it's just simply for the fact that there are a very small number of people out there um, who have technology mostly via scripting and whatnot but but they're able to create tons of bot accounts uh, and so a very small number of people are creating massive number of accounts and they're going and they're hitting these people with everything they've got um, and it's it's scary it's sad it's like angering it's just it's freaking terrible okay so that's what a hate raid is if you're not familiar um, doesn't even have to be using the twitch like raid feature uh, you can just straight up like they can they can just go into the chat uh, without actually doing a raid uh, and just start just start hitting the chat, you know, um, because they're somewhat organized. So. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's what a hate raid is. And that's like that in itself is terrible. Um, and, yeah, I think that Twitch needs to be doing some stuff to prevent that sort of thing or at least make it much more difficult than it currently is to carry one of those out. OK. Um, at the absolute like bare minimum okay or they need to be giving uh, creators tools uh, one-stop shop tools as opposed to having to have like the reality is that there there are streamers out there that you think would be technologically minded enough to be able to do the sorts of things that could uh, you know like the chain of commands and everything they could set up a bot they could do all this other stuff to protect themselves okay the reality is is that not everybody has that expertise okay and so Twitch, I think, needs to be doing more in terms of giving those creators something uh, that that they can use, okay? And make it so easy a five-year-old could do it, all right? That is not very difficult for Twitch to do. I think that's what most people are asking for. Now, some people are going asking for more than that, okay? Uh, quite frankly, I think that there is still a fine line between um, the tools that, or, you know, the, the, the features that Twitch can do you're asking a business essentially that that thrives on user accounts to make it harder to make user accounts that's tough to do okay just from a purely business standpoint that is extremely tough to ask. that's a tough ask and it's a tough sell okay um and so i think that we need to be i think that we need to be extremely mindful of what we're asking for now i'm not saying we need to be apologetic you know but i'm saying that we need to be realistic here okay um, so that's sort of what I'm hearing from people who are, are demanding things of Twitch. Uh, there's a broad spectrum, but the majority of people are just asking for tools in which like streamers can use to protect themselves. I'm 100% on board on, with that, 110% on board, okay? Uh, so speaking about the day off Twitch in, in, in more specific detail now, okay? I support that movement um, and the idea behind it. I believe that the execution is flawed, okay? Um, and some people have already talked about it in Discord. Um, you know, <laughs> just hear me out, okay, before you start saying anything specific. But um, the reason I believe it's flawed is you are seeing a bunch of larger creators like Asmongold came out and said, uh, nobody cares. And the reality is, is that he's not wrong you know um like like the big streamers are not going to take a day off twitch because they have no incentive to and that's kind of messed up right hey what's going on dip how you doing um the big streamers are the ones that can really implement change uh and and quite frankly they need they would need to be doing so over the course of more than one day okay this is sort of the issue with this is it's a bunch of streamers that are my size and a lot of times even smaller than me that are saying, OK, we need to do this. But the reality is, is that Twitch is actually not profitable from streamers like me. OK, they aren't. Uh, that's the reality to it. So when you have Twitch spending money uh, to encode my stream when, you know, I don't bring in a ton of money for Twitch because I'm not a partner. Um, they are actually getting a little bit of a break if people like me don't stream because again we're not we're not making twitch profitable okay twitch actually takes a loss for us okay uh and i'm not sitting here saying oh we should be thanking twitch you know that's not what i'm saying but um but i think the logic there behind making this an everybody thing is flawed okay 
Um, the other thing that I take issue with uh, with this is that a lot of people are telling, they're saying, okay, everybody needs to take a day off Twitch, right? Um, and the reality is, is that for some people, like this is this is a modest income for them, but it is their income, you know? And so by sort of taking them or forcing them or sort of strong arming them off of Twitch, potentially affecting them, uh, and, and as I said before, you're certainly affecting them more than you're affecting Twitch, you know? Um, so that's why I believe that this is a misguided sort of protest. Now that said, I, I support the message, okay? And this is what I've been trying to say. I support the message of what the um, movement is trying to say, okay? Is that if we don't do something, nothing changes, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm a believer in that, you know? Um, I... I I get extremely frustrated. We've talked about this uh, again. It's, <laughs> it's sort of a difficult subject. We've talked about the pandemic. We've talked about other things that are going on and how frustrated I get personally by people wanting these sorts of things to change, but not willing to do anything to change it. You know what I'm saying? And so I believe that we do have to do something, right? If Twitch is being quiet about this sort of thing um, and they are not willing to make any changes, it seems like, then we have to do something, right, to, to impact those. Now, like I said, I don't think that those are, I don't think that those are, uh, the best ways to impact those changes. However, um, it's a start. It's a start. Um, and so I've been going through some thoughts here. I, I, I've thought about, um, just I'll give you I, I haven't fully decided I'll kind of give you my my rough plan nothing is set in stone because my thoughts have been changing on this you know what I want to do over the last 12 hours so um so yeah my most likely my thoughts are going to change in the next 24 hours too um so yeah so so here's what I'm thinking or some of the thoughts that have gone through my head okay um, I considered just streaming, I mean, but prior to, like I said, I had planned on streaming on Twitch uh, before I ever even knew about the day off Twitch, okay? Uh, that was my plan. You saw it in my Discord, uh, if you saw the schedule. I didn't know that this was coming, so I had just sort of planned to stream Wednesday anyway. So I thought about sticking to that and then trying to do something afterwards to short, sort of show um, some solidarity. Um, that was kind of my first thought. Uh, I thought about maybe streaming on YouTube for that day. Um, and, and just staying off Twitch. Um, my, my whole thought is though, some people were kind of giving me some suggestions and to be clear, I'm, I'm not really looking for suggestions. Okay. Um, I want to do what I think is right. Uh, but I want to make that decision on my own, you know, uh, because I feel like, uh, I, I'm not trying to just cater to people. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I want to do what I feel like is right myself. Uh, and so I'm not I'm not particularly asking for suggestions. Uh, some people had said, well, you know, you could you could stream on YouTube, you stream on Discord. I'm not looking for a way to circumvent the protest. OK, that's not what I'm trying to do. Um, what I'm trying to do is do what I feel like is right. OK. Um, so one of the things one of the thoughts that I, I thought about recently, uh, probably within the last just couple hours, um, is I thought about just taking a day off of Twitch doing some work on some on some things for myself during the time that I would normally be streaming and then coming back Thursday and making it a point that um you know maybe we try to find some some black creators we try to find LGBTQ creators we try to find some other creators that potentially have been impacted by these hate raids and we go in and give them a love raid okay so where where you know I drop a donation uh, in their chat so that they're not getting it through Twitch, they're getting it through me. Um, and just trying to bring the hype, you know? So that's kind of, those are some of the things that I've been thinking about. And that's kind of where I'm leaning right now is I've got some things that I can work on off stream. As much as I, as much as I love chatting with you guys, and you know, I would miss you. Um, it's not gonna hurt me financially or anything like that to take a day off uh, of streaming. Um, and like I said, I still believe that this movement is misguided. Uh, it's it's not it's not particularly well thought out. I think the intention is there, the heart is there, uh, the logic is flawed. Okay, and that's. But that said, like it is a start. It's a start, you know. Um, so I don't mind doing that. It really does not harm me. You know, it's a small sacrifice to make. So that's kind of what where I'm thinking, and that's where my head is at right now. Okay. 
Um, I'm glad that you like that idea, though, you DJ. That's that's something where, um, you know, we could do it a number of ways. And, and this is I, I've been thinking about these. These SWAT thoughts have been swimming. Um, you know, we've got we have multiple ways to to financially support creators on Twitch. Um, you can obviously watch ads for that person. Um, you can you can uh, make a donation. You could subscribe to them. You could cheer them. You could do you know, whatever there, there are numerous ways to financially support a streamer, right? Um, now, obviously if you cheer or if you, uh, don't, uh, sorry, subscribe to them, uh, and watch ads for that matter. Uh, those are three ways that Twitch will end up taking a cut of that. Um, if you make a donation, those types of things go, uh, there still is obviously a small percentage of it that goes to the, the platform in which you're making the donation on, but a larger percent of that goes to the streamer. So for instance, if you make like a PayPal donation, PayPal ends up keeping something around like 4%, um, but that's still 96% of it that goes to the creator or something like that. But um, whereas Twitch is more 50-50, uh, but that said, September is coming up um, and Twitch actually doesn't take nearly as much of a cut during September. So that's kind of my thought too, is sub September is a good idea for time to do this because more of that, like the, the, the balance and the, the split shifts between Twitch and the creators. So, yeah. Surprised we're not doing it right now. What do you mean, Astica? Thank you for your well-articulated thoughts, Lutz. Appreciate hearing your opinion on this. Absolutely. Absolutely, Lady Uh I, I know, <laughs> like I said, my thoughts have been, have been changing, evolving, because that's just how my brain works. Um, and that's kind of how, uh, that's kind of how I work. You know, I, I just... I just, I need time to think and, and put things to myself, you know? Hmm. Us streamers really want to support these marginalized groups. I'm not sure why these love raids aren't being suggested instead of a strike. Yeah, I, like I said, Balinor, I think, I think that um, the decision, I, I don't know how many people were sort of, I don't, I guess, how do any of these, how do any of these make it to the light of day in terms of like, if somebody obviously had the idea they mentioned the idea to other people and that idea, I guess, just kind of snowballed, um, you know, but let's go drop some love funds on someone. I like that idea. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, I don't mind doing that. Like I, there's nothing really stopping us from doing that. So don't need a day to tell us to be supportive. No, absolutely not. And that's kind of what, um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking, uh, Astica is not just doing it for one day, but let's like, let's make it a commitment to where maybe we exclusively do that, uh, in September. You know, because again, one day is, as I shared about my, my thoughts on this protest, one day is not going to make a difference, um, at least not in not in the way that not in the strongly impactful way that they want it to be. OK, I, I think that if you're if you're asking for Twitch to take a hit here, uh, it would have to be something like a week, two weeks, you know, something like that. And so if you want to impact change, I think it's got to be something a little bit more, you know, substantial. So, so yeah, some other streamers do love raids. Is that right? Um, so I actually, my thought was I, I know some, some black content creators, um, that I follow, uh, but the problem is they don't stream around the time that I do. So it'd be hard for me to go and do like a love raid on them. Um, so I was, I was trying to use Reddit to see if I could find, you know, a way to kind of matchmake, if you will, uh, streamers versus, uh, streamers who, who have been hate rated versus those who are looking to share some love. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I haven't really been successful in that, but yeah. One day can make a difference for somebody, but not for everybody. Yeah. And I think, uh, I think ask what, what I mean to say is not, is not that one day can't make a difference. Um, because it can, but what I, what I mean to say in that is that Twitch will not be feeling any sort of hurt in this one day. Uh, Twitch can very easily weather a one day storm, so to speak. Uh, so yeah, it'll be a symbolic gesture for a lot of people and that, that will mean something to them, you know, here. Uh, but as far as impacting Twitch's bottom line, it, it's going to be a drop in the bucket. Um, so I think, I think in order to impact real change, there have to be more grand ideas, if you will. Um, so yeah. Um, you know, there actually used to be a section on Twitch, uh, that was called black excellence, for instance. Um, that has since 
gone away. I, I don't really know the thought process behind that. I don't know if that was a February only thing. I'm not really sure. I'm not going to sit here and trash on Twitch for that. I All I know is that it, there used to be a thing for it and now there's not. Uh, and that was where they highlighted uh, black content creators. And that, that sort of thing has gone away. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so I mean, m my thought is let's let's see if we can make uh, let's not let's not just stop there. Let's not do uh, sort of the easy way out. Let's try to figure out a way that something that's going to feel right for us um, and hopefully make somebody else's day. OK, that's what I've been trying to say when when we do go on raids. Uh, you've, you've heard me say the phrase often, you know, I say, hey, join me on this raid. Even if you, even if you can only say hello, join me on this raid and let's make this person's day, you know, because that's that's what I want to do. You know, I want to make somebody's day. Um, and so if we can do that with these love raids, mission accomplished, because I think then, uh, you know, if that gives that person, it could be somebody who's been doing really well on Twitch, um, but has been getting maybe multiple hate raids. You know what I mean? Like maybe all of a sudden they've Maybe they've been doing great for like the last several months and then all of a sudden in one week they've gotten hate rated two or three times, you know, and so they're finding they're struggling to, to find the motivation to continue streaming something they really enjoy, but something that feel like is being stolen from them. If we can go in there and make that person's day, maybe we give them a little bit of hope, you know, um, and I think that's that's the type of change that is realistic, but also um, sort of a sacrificial type of care. Not really. I mean, sacrificing a few dollars you know like like it's not a real big sacrifice but that's the type of real change i feel like streamers my size and and close to my size can make um and ones that are very realistic that are going to make a big difference you know to people so that's kind of where my head is at that's my headspace right now um hopefully i did okay in explaining where you're not too confused but yeah I don't think this fight is with Twitch. They're just the super easy target. They're just the easy target as they could technically implement some change. No matter what, though, you build better defenses and there'll be better. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, Aska. People are going to find ways to spread hate. That's what they've done since the beginning of humankind. So. But um, it's still not an excuse to not try. You know what I mean? And and I think that I, I think that most people are just asking most people. The vast majority of people are just asking Twitch, just let's try something, you know. So, can't believe Twitch is ignoring the issue. I just think it takes time to understand the issue and develop tools or policies that address the issue. The problem is, is that people, again, this is an emotional issue, right, Valinor? And and Twitch is whether we want to admit it or not. As as much as we want Twitch to be this this really great place for marginalized people, uh, a safe place for people to go and hang out. The reality is, is that Twitch is a business. That is the 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 honest reality that everybody is going to have to come with terms, come to terms with at some point or another. Okay, they have a bottom line that they're trying to hit, right? And people, I think, are just saying, "Hey, why don't you just do this? This is so easy." But they don't see the impact that has on the bottom line. Okay. Now again, the bottom line. I don't believe the bottom line is everything. Okay. I think if Twitch is going to be successful, they have to make some concessions somewhere. Okay. But what some people are asking them uh, are things that I mean, Twitch is they're smart, right? It's an Amazon back program. I mean, they've got they've got uh, PR, uh, they've got, you know, marketing. They've got all sorts of these different departments that are making these decisions and they're not going to make anything just rash because a bunch of people said, hey, do this. Right. So if you're asking Twitch to make it harder to create accounts, Twitch then is going to do, uh, you know, a study, I guess, or sort of a they're going to go and look at. OK, if we do this one thing, if we add this one thing that makes it harder to create an account, how do we expect? How do we project that that's going to impact our bottom line? Because we know that the more accounts we have, generally speaking, the more money we're going to make. OK, um, how will this impact our, our bottom line? Because if we make it harder for people to create bot accounts, how many true, genuine people coming in trying to make an account will we also lose in that process? Because it will happen. It will. Um, the more steps you make to, I mean, this is something that, that I, I work in consumer marketing. Um, I'm part of the consumer marketing development team for the company I work for. Um, and, and they want to try to make it a checkout process as frictionless as possible. So they want to ask the user as few questions as they possibly can while still gaining the necessary information they need to like be able to serve that, that person, um, in order for them to like subscribe, you know what I mean? That's. That's what they're trying to do. And that's that's something that has been proven. That's a, a very strong 
marketing strategy that the fewer steps you have to create an account or purchasing a subscription or uh, adding something to your shopping cart or, you know, whatever it is, um, those types of things, the fewer steps, the fewer clicks, the fewer button presses you have to do to get to that point, the more likely you are to do it. And so people are asking Twitch to implement all of these security features in terms of account creation, but Twitch is saying that's going to also impact the amount of people that are actually trying to come and create an account. Okay. So again, you're asking for something, you're asking for a business to give up on their bottom line for something that they don't necessarily see a large impact from. You might disagree with that, but that's the business, that's the cold, hard business logic. And business logic has no feelings. Business logic does not care about your social justice, right? Like, that's just how it is. Uh, it's sad, obviously. It's 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 unfortunate, but that's that's like the true... That's what it is, <laughs> you know, like your 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 dollar bills don't have heartbeats, you know, like. No, <clears throat> they're not here to judge people's character. They're just here to make money and supply a platform. And and the other thing, too, is Asica. Um, I'm pretty sure, like even somewhat recently, Twitch has I don't know that Twitch is profitable as a business right now. I don't know if people realize that. I don't think Twitch is actually profitable. They're getting there. And they will definitely be there. And that's why they're investing so much money in this. But it's sort of like Netflix. When Netflix first came out and started buying up all these movies and all these like original titles, they actually weren't making money, right? They were banking on future money. It's what Xbox Game Pass is doing, right? So it's one of those things that they're banking on future money. So uh, for them to take an even bigger hit right now, I don't know if they're willing to do that. You know, again, cold, hard business facts. Like, I just don't know. I don't know. Uh, if you make the revenue generation go down, they, their cut of subs and cheers, et cetera, will go up to recover the loss. Be careful what you ask for. I mean, that's the truth. Somebody somebody would have to take a pay cut somewhere, right? And it's not likely that the ones setting the prices are going to take the pay cut. It's not likely, but... It's already one of those, are you human? Identify the walkway things. Uh, the uh, CAPTCHA. Uh, there is not... I don't believe there is CAPTCHA on the uh, Twitch account creation. I don't believe so. And that's one thing that people have been asking for, too. That's not what I'm saying. These hate raids are people who go from stream to stream spouting toxic hate comments. If Twitch were to put a temp ban or review accounts that are continually banned by multiple streams, that would reduce how easily these raids occur. Yes, until they go and create more accounts. Until they go and create more accounts. Uh, because a lot in a lot of in a lot of you know instances, these accounts are banned pretty dang quick. So yeah. One account per email address, that'd be a great start. That'd be a great start right there. Um, and I know that's a thing like you can you can create multiple accounts. I don't know how many I don't know if there is a limit, but you can create multiple accounts with one email address. Uh, that's a problem. I don't know if you can use trash email accounts either like Yacht Mails. I don't know if you can use those. I haven't tested that, but. But yeah, there there are ways. I mean, you can create a lot of accounts and, and that's the thing these guys have. It's a small amount of people. At least that's what I want to believe. I want to believe that it's a small amount of people using um, using automation technology to just basically take over somebody's account, you know, take over somebody's stream. They're being carried by Amazon currently until it's a more self-sustaining platform. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So anyway, those are my thoughts. Um, if you have any more questions, you're always welcome to DM me. Uh, we can continue the chat in Discord, of course, too. Um, but uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. And that's kind of my, my light tentative plan for tomorrow is take a day off. I've got some things I've got to work on anyway. And so, um, you know, I'll just spend the time that I normally would streaming. I'll be spending the time working on some of my own content um, that I, I'm, I'm behind on. So I'll still be having you guys in the forefront of my mind. Um, and then we come back Thursday and uh, starting on Thursday, we just for the rest of September, when we go to raid somebody, uh, we go to raid somebody that, um, you know, we, we look for those marginalized creator tags uh, like black black creators, uh, LGBTQ plus creators, um, Asian creators, just we look for those and we go and even if they have raids disabled, uh, we go and we just join their stream, um, drop a donation to them uh, and just and just try to hype them up a little bit, gas them up, make their day, you know, make their day. So that's what I, that's what I'm leaning towards right now for tomorrow. Um, but that's sort of the whole story behind the decision. Um, that some people were cared about, some people didn't, but at least now you know. So, even Gmail, you can put uh, apostrophe S's. 
period apostrophe yesterday in your email or wherever you want or plus text at the end of your address and it's the same one account all one inbox oh really okay so script could easily just generate junk on the end of an email address to bypass the one account per address it really only hurts yeah i mean i guess that makes sense yeah hmm. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, my friends, today we are playing some Humankind. I have no idea how this game plays yet. Uh, it looks very Civilization-like, uh, so we're going to give it a shot. But I was intrigued because I've played Civilization uh, a little bit, and I really enjoy the game. It's one of those games that really just sucked me in, uh, and I would lose hours just like, holy crap. I've only been playing for five minutes, but two hours passed. Um, so I'm curious, and this one seems like it has some pretty interesting uh, ideas in terms of Combining societal um, societies, I guess, is probably the better way of putting it. Um, technologies and all that. So I'm, I'm pretty cool. I'm pretty, I think it looks pretty cool and I'm pretty excited to play it, if I can actually say what I'm trying to say. But excited to see what this game will be like. Me too, Coleman. Me too. So we'll give it a shot. Um, it's probably going to be a bit of a learning curve, I have to imagine, with like a strategy type game. But we'll see how it goes. Will Loot's influencer me into a new game? Maybe so. <laughs> Um, maybe, but also, you know, we've got, I mean, I could, I've, I've been trying to influence people to get Game Pass, so it's on Game Pass. All right, let me bring you all in. <clears throat> Love me some Civ. Yeah, so I, I've played a very little, little of Sim, uh, Civ, gosh. Uh, PC versions of Civ, but the, um, the console version, Civilization Revelation, Revolution, Revolution, uh, that came out on Xbox 360. I played the heck out of that. That was a lot of fun. Um, and I know that's like a watered down Civ game. So I'm interested in seeing what this is like. I played a little bit of, uh, Civ, was it six? Five or six. Civ is dope. It is. It is. Game Pass sponsorship incoming. I don't know if we're going to get there, but... Still need to still need to get back to Manscaped on that. <clears throat> okay, uh, so I've never played a historical strategy game. I've played his historical strategy games before. I have played Humankind before. I think I'll go with the advanced tutorial. Choose an empire color and symbol. They will be carried by all your cities and armies as well as territories belonging to you or under your influence. Okay. Um, a symbol. Wow, there are a lot of symbols here. Options? I know, right? What in the heck? There's a crown here. I like that. Which one feels most, uh, Looty Magooty, you know? No. Got a horse here, like a flaming... <laughs> looks almost like a flaming horse. Colors, though. Uh, Empire Color. Um... Kind of like this purpley, purpley-ish color here. Um, and then how about... Man, do they... I wish they had a treasure chest. That feels good, but... Oh, there's swords right here. That's not bad. Love how you hung around that peace sign for a bit, of course. Civ uh, 4 is the best Civ. Pick a peace symbol and then be a war-based country. <laughs> First hour is character creation. Always, always, you DJ. Uh, I actually didn't even realize I was hovering on a peace symbol. Was it, uh... I didn't even... I didn't even... I haven't even seen it. There's so many dang logos here. I've already missed it. Ooh. Liking this music, though. Hands down, best civilization game? Huh. I don't think... I haven't played Civ 4. Is it, like, so it was either 5 or 6. I want to say it was 6. The old bamboozle. <laughs> it's worth playing. I believe you. If you say it's the best one, I believe you. Oh, this music kind of, kind of bops. Oh, I'm sure it's cheap. I should see. I think I have Civ 3, maybe. I should see what other ones I do have. Um, all right. I think I'm just going to go for, um... Hmm, which one speaks to me here? This is tough. Why is this such a hard decision? This one kind of looks like a football. 
It's not actually a football, but... Um, you know? Hmm. But just the heart. Second row from bottom, second icon from right is a universal peace sign. Oh, right here. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how I didn't see that. Good do peace. We go, the, we go with the heart. I also like this. This is kind of cool. Makes me think of uh, being hypnotized. Hmm. Now, you know what? My high school mascot was a Spartan. I feel like I kind of want to do that. This one's the most... I like the crosswords. I kind of like those, too. Are they up higher, though? No, they were down here. Right here. Yeah, I like those, too. Pickaxe. I see an actual pickaxe. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the the Spartan here. Even though it kind of makes me think of Michigan State Spartans, and that's you know. Uh, do I just? Oh, I can change my avatar. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Character creation. All right. Uh, how close do we think we can get this to look like me? Probably not very. Wait, hang on. This person kind of has a mohawkish type look. Okay. Can you change? You can change the hair. Okay, so maybe I need to find somebody. Hey, what's going on, Nander? Hmm. YouTube streaming. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing, Nander? How you doing? High school mascot was a Trojan. So all right, so we're like right. It's pretty much the same then, uh, Coleman. I mean, not actually the same, but you know, like. Similar logo. The logos are used kind of interchangeably. So, yours too. So, do we just pick everybody's high school mascot? All right. Um, okay. Which person do we think looks the most like me right off the bat? Because uh, we should be able to change their uh, complexion a little bit and stuff. Maybe I don't know. This guy looks too smug. This guy looks pretty ferocious. Let's go with, uh, I don't like this guy's smirk here. Hmm. This is dip dip. I had to make an account like this. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You're just testing out the account creation. Hey, what's going on? Nostalius? Cheers, dude. Thank you for that. 11 months. Appreciate that. Can we get some cheers up for Nostalia? And what's going on, Moe? How you doing? Sort of have the day off, but have to finish up some work stuff first. Oh, I hate days like that, Nander. So much pressure. Uh, we need somebody... Okay, if we're going for somebody like me, we need somebody to have a decent-sized nose here. I mean, honestly, this guy's probably the closest. Can I just change his... Oh, good. Okay, good. Didn't want that, like, powdery white face that... Uh, that one seems kind of like me, right? That one there. A bit more on the red complexion. Actually, that default face is decent. We get a small chin. Oh, that's not bad. Small chin, slightly bigger nose. Okay. I also don't want to spend forever creating an avatar that we might might or might not see throughout the rest of the game. Um, let's see here. We got, so we got a little bit of a thicker brow. Not quite a unibrow, you know, but you know, let's go with maybe this one. Tried the game, got kind of confused, not used to strategy games, but I loved that you could create your own emperor. Yeah, absolutely. A new games kind of look like a civilization game. Absolutely, Nostalius. Absolutely. In the empire business, of course. Business is booming. Chilling after a long day? I can get behind that, Moe. I can definitely get behind that. Uh, I got some brown eyes. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to be honest, I didn't... Think about how many different uh, eye shapes there would be here. Do I? Let's see. Look at myself here. Which one am I got right now? It's not bad. I don't know that. I mean, I do. I don't know that my brow sticks out quite that. I don't know, let's see. A little, little profile here. My cheeks don't stick out quite that much. My cheekbones are maybe a little bit more like that. Probably, yeah. I don't know. We're just going to go with that. All right. Nose. This is my time to shine. A big nose here. So. Maybe let's go with, uh, but it's not turned up. That one's actually not bad. Look at that. That's not bad. There's just a starter nose there. 
Something's a little bit too bulbous. But man, that one's not bad. Maybe that one. What do you think? Right there. Uh, maybe up a little. I don't know. I feel like the default nose is pretty good. We're going to stick with it. And then the lips. The mouth. Pretty normal. <clears throat> Had seen show me something in the feature. Didn't look didn't look into it. Gotcha. Very similar to Sid. That's what I've seen too from the bits of it that I've watched. Uh, is this one? Let's see. Hmm. Hundred, a hundred and one gold coins. Cheers, Moe. Appreciate that, my friend. Honestly, didn't think we'd be doing character creation in this game. Moe, I super appreciate that, my friend. Have you been able to do any gaming lately, Moe? Hoping you're getting to get all the Subnautica in that you want. Drinks all around. Yes, cheers. I mean, I kind of have... I have decent-sized lips, you know? Most of these are pretty thin. They're either huge lips or, or really thin lips. How do I find, like, decently large lips? Now, that one's fine. We're just going to go with that. I don't want to spend a ton of time on it, you know? Ooh, we can... Oh, okay. Okay, look a little bit... Maybe a little sunburn here. Freckles. Okay. Age. How old am I? I'm 30, so I feel like I can't choose the first option anymore. Um, by world leader standards, that's still pretty young, but maybe not historically speaking. I mean, King Tut was super young. Maybe it's like Fallen Enchantress as well, the character creation aspect. Maybe, maybe. Um, I don't have any facial scars, although some of these would make me look a lot tougher if I did. Yeah, this guy's not really looking like me, though. Let's be honest. Maybe the change in the hair will fix it. I, I doubt it, though. Um, let's see. And I do have some... Yeah, we're just going to go with this one here. Okay. Hair. My hair's pretty dark here. Um, And then do they have, like, a, a faux hawk type fade here? What's the closest thing they've got? Something like that. That's probably the closest. Check that out. Let's see if there's anything else. Oh, there's this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Astica, I su super appreciate that. 397 for your decently large lips. Let's start the support train here. <laughs> super appreciate that. Let's get some cheers up for Astica. Oh, five Canadian dollars. Okay, okay. I was like, all right. But also the decently large cli uh, lips comment got me. That was a good one. Cheers up. What's going on, Michelle? So, yeah, those of you that, that might not know what Asuka's talking about, my plan is for the rest of September, um, we're going to do some love raids, some hype raids, if you will, too. So i um, planning on maybe doing a few more donations as opposed to subs. So, yeah. Support groups for everything these days. <laughs> Of course. Oh, you have decently large lips? Here you go. Let's support each other. I think I'm just going to go with this one. That's the closest one I think I'm going to find. We got to get a little bit of a beard going, though. Do we want to do winter beard in preparation for the upcoming winter beard? Or maybe I just stick with a, a shorter, maybe something like this. Or maybe, oh, maybe something like that. What do we think of that? Is that better? This guy still looks pretty, uh, pretty fancy compared to me. Let's be honest. Um, but I do also like wearing black. I am, I am a little bit emo after all. That's the Riker beard, yeah. Looks pretty suave. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. I, it's one of those where it's going to be kind of the closest option of the available options. So I think we'll do that. All right, let's save it. I mean, closer at least than the than the the woman who was up there before. So, follow that guy to war for sure. <laughs> Long live Emperor Lutz. 
Only if only only if he's a fair ruler, you know. Only if he's a fair ruler. All right, let's do this. We got everybody's high school mascot as our symbol. Kind of pick the the purpley blue um, empire color. We're ready to go. Current arrow Neolithic. Current culture nomadic tribe. Okay, I've played historical strategy games before. Maybe I should have picked. I've never played. Um, I mean, I have, but I don't know. You can rock the Riker beard though. You have to mimic his approach to chairs. Oh gosh, word arm phasers. Word arm phasers. <laughs> This is a decently long loading screen. I'm not I'm not seeing a loading screen in this long in a while. Sea of Thieves is like the longest one oh. I play anymore. <laughs> Here's Lady Iron. I'm on the lift train. <laughs> 300 gold coins. Super appreciate that. Cheers up, everybody. To Lady Iron. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. There's Not no way we thought the Earth was round by this point. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together, <laughs> and things start to get it's interesting. Like calls for an oh my. And a bit drier. The Earth definitely hadn't formed into a round shape yet. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. Like a good lip, this is all the bits I have. <laughs> Appreciate that, Nander. Sorry, I had to turn off the, the notification so that uh, Nidalicious couldn't spam it. So there's a certain, at, at 100 is where it, it does the, the full alert. Apologies, my friend. I'm going to give you a cheers anyway. But you know how Nidalicious likes to do some quality assurance, so. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You Who said that? Who will build them into a great civilization. <laughs> Everyone loves a good barbecue party. <laughs> They're unionizing. Humankind. <laughs> a new era, a new epoch. While your tribe looks to you for leadership, is the game too loud for everybody? Future, oh, a little loud. Generations. Yeah, let me turn it down just a little bit more. The game is super loud for me. They have. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Neolithic goal. Your first objective is to survive the Neolithic era and earn your first era star. Era stars measure your achievements in the game. We will cover them in more detail soon. Understood. Great. Now is the ideal time to learn about previewing the FIMS resource output of tiles. You can toggle any tile output preview at any time by selecting the tile output bottom button at the bottom right of the screen near the end turn button. Okay. I'm sure I won't accidentally click the end turn button instead. I haven't seen the gameplay yet, but I want to play. Your influencer-ness is too strong. <laughs> well, uh, is that a good or a bad thing? Is that a gift or a curse? Take some time to observe how terrain affects resource production. Rivers, for instance, are more bountiful than prairies. Of course. Understood. Um. Okay, let's look over here. Prairie. Oh, there's a horsey button right over here. Horsies? I want the horsies. Oh, this is a hunting party. Okay. Resource extraction is locked. You need to research the domestication technology after entering the ancient era. Ah, okay. We have dry grass over here. Okay. If you learn nothing else, you could learn what killed them. Hmm. Curiosity collected. We don't want too much of that. Bad for me who has too many games to play. <laughs> Real question is how many mugs do you have on the, the go here, big shoots? How many mugs? Wait, mugs? Are we talking about these? Right here? Curiosity killed the cat exactly. Drink from a white one? Yeah, yeah. So I've got, um, I mean, my favorite one is my Emo's Not Dead mug. Uh, that's the black one you guys see me drink from most of the time. But um, <laughs> I think I've talked about this one before on stream. You can see uh, here, waking up every day seems a little excessive. Um, 
I got this one from my mom, who is a notorious regifter. Um, Mrs. Magoo's turn to me is like, she's like, do you think that your mom actually bought these? And I was like, no, there's no chance. <laughs> there's no freaking chance. Um, so that was, I think, the first year. So, so maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was the year before. We had talked about not doing like gifts, you know, or something. And uh, yeah, I think that that's what my mom gave me. Um, so yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, not really a gift. So kind of curious, I going to turn this into Sims? I yeah, I don't know. We're gonna find out, Nidalicious. But how you doing, man? Tribe has enough purple star influence to found its first outpost. Okay, let's do it. This is a t this is a tutorial after all, right? So just claim it. Oh, then again, uh, maybe this isn't the best place. Let's see. Seven grain, four gears. Uh, let's see. That's nine and five over there. Uh, let's do that. I'm just going to do it over there. Uh, I guess I have to end my turn, right? Unless there's anything else I can do. Um... <laughs> okay, so uh, do it, do it, guys, do it, do the thing. Ancient encampment. We found more curiosity. Uh, okay, outpost exploit food and industry. Okay, so the gears are called industry. Can be turned into cities when you reach the ancient era. Take a bit of time to choose to the best possible spot, both strategically and economically. Actually, that one's really good. I just saw that over there. Uh, Ten food and, and eight. Yeah, that's going to be even better. Like, how many times do I have to move? I'll probably just keep moving. And I'll find a good spot eventually here, but... Okay. Do I just end? Like my mug that just says no? That'd be a good one. The new newspaper of Uppsala had a white mug with big black UNT letters and a black ear. Wait, what? Not sure I follow. UNT? Hmm. I'm guessing that's a bad thing. I guess just end my turn? Every time? Go make your outpost. I don't, do I have to re-click it? I'm going to make it up here. All right. Marohu. That's definitely... Uh, Definitely how it's pronounced. Okay, so what does the hunting party do now? Do they just go and, and get this stuff? Um, can I do anything using the outpost? I did pick the advanced tutorial. Probably should have picked uh, maybe not the advanced one. So... What's a little bit interesting. Healthy children. I see where this is going. Okay. Ooh, -hoo. yeah. Uh, Uppsala Nyai. Uh, yeah. The black ear kind of made a C. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Instead, they usually place the settler right on a decent place to start a city. And if you didn't start the city then and there, you fell behind. Yeah, I know. I know. That one wasn't very good, though. Is this a place to... Talking about making babies, by the way. I'm not sure if it's an issue here. Um, so usually you could do something with the... You could do something with the outpost, though. Right? Like, you could choose something to do. Um, but I don't really see anything I can do. How to gain Aristars? There are three ways to gain your first Aristar. Either increase your population, gather science from science curiosities, or hunt down wild animals. I should do that. In order to gain units and increase your population, gather food through hunting, uh, wild animals and foraging, few food curiosities. Counters measure your progress in the Empire banner in the upper left corner of the screen. Hover over them to get more details. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go hunt some animals. We got a hunting party. Apos is making you food. I think you need to get more. Uh, you need food to get more units. That's what I'm thinking too. We see any wild animals to 
to slaughter over here. I think I'm gonna have to go this. This actually might be a very small starting island here. Exhausted. Once it becomes a city, and potentially, just so you know, I'm four glasses of bubbly in and CPRing the bottle with mouth to mouth before it's completely dead. <laughs> Yeah, cheers to Mrs. Licious on the dissertation being turned in. It's got to be a great feeling. It says two turns. Oh, so, okay, two turns are probably when I'm going to create another unit. Okay. What does this mean? Violent pursuits. Last one is especially harsh. The ground hard and the frost chilling to the bone. In the heart of the settlement, the tribe huddled close to share warmth through the coldest of days, but for some it wasn't enough. Some needed to get their blood flowing, and they found a means through violent games. Grappling, fighting, contests of strength and endurance. One contest where opponents fight with hidebound fists has gained quite a following. To the point where the outpost's usual forging missions are under threat. What is your say on this new pursuit? Ooh. Okay. Encourage. The toughening of the tribe is worth the cost to our forging capacity. Minus five food? That's half. How come my prime resubs don't show up? Uh, did you... When did it happen, Nidalicious? Uh, sometimes they take the 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 resubs. Sometimes take a little while. Uh, these games will will be forbidden by the tribe. Encouraged to stay warm by forging faster. Bountiful on Maru Marohu for ten turns. Okay, codify. We should allow these contests, but only decreed times of the year. Minus twenty five percent on domestication research cost. Okay, so that's wait. That doesn't give me any positive. It takes a bit. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it does take a few. Um, and maybe, like, even refreshing the stream will sometimes work. That is a positive? Oh, yeah, yeah, res research cost. I don't know why I was thinking, like, research speed for some reason. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. Let's do it. Codify. We say, ah, eh, sometimes it's okay, but sometimes it's not. Freshwater harvest. Okay, looks like uh, next turn I might have something happen in here in the. Uh... By building an outpost, claiming territory is this easy. The trick, of course, is keeping it. That was my choice as well. Nice. Maybe been drinking and missed the button that said share with stream. <laughs> it usually stays pinned at the top, though, when it does show up. So sometimes it just takes a bit. Uh, if you're struggling with any mechanic or notion in the game, make sure to check out our tutorial videos. Simply select tutorial. Mm -hmm. Understood. Okay, so this actually did something, right? It is actually a... A thing now? Food from exploitation. Am I running on another... Oh, okay, hang on a second. Is that is that another civilization, or is this my, is mine just this large? Okay. Seems like mine is this large. Okay, so evolve your outpost into a city, but I need the uh, the, the stars, right? The era stars, the Aristotles. Um, acknowledge you found a curiosity ancient encampment providing plus two and plus five, plus two science. Hey, what's going on, Steph? How you doing? <clears throat> nice haircut. Wait, me? I haven't got a haircut in a while. But I appreciate it. <laughs> How you doing, though, Steph? What's new? Um. Hmm. I guess I just keep exploring with these guys. I haven't found any wild animals, though. So I, need, I have, uh, what, 10 science to get? I have five of it, or uh, two growth. Okay. I can't... Oh, I could move there. Okay. I should make sure I don't give up on, uh, on moving. Nice hairstyle. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, 15 on hunting party. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Does this show? Does this show a growth here? Five population and or three units within your empire. Okay. 
What does this do? Outpost relocation? Oh, here's how I create a tribe. Okay. Can I be done without one population? How much population do I have? None. Wow. Psychana, welcome in. If you want to turn on the other beginner tutorials, you can still do that, by the way. Really? What is, is it through here? I might need to. I, I, I mean, I've played, I've played historical strategy games. It has been a little while. Escape settings. Okay. So like through here. Probably under gameplay. Tutorial. Ah, okay. So will it kind of retroactively? Ah, okay. Shade that, Saikana. That is super helpful. Thank you. Can we get some cheers up for Saikana? Bring in the knowledge. Cheers. Hey, Majestic Marla. How you doing? Hello, hello to you. How have you been? How big is your nation? Uh... Balinor, that's private information, okay? This isn't OnlyFans. All right. <laughs> what is this? Oh, you've not seen this stuff? This is uh, Humankind. It's sort of like a, uh, it's a historical strategy game. Uh, yeah, this is what I needed to see right here. This is what I needed. <laughs> Big enough to get the job done? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, my. Back to Lurkin. I appreciate that, Psychana. Seriously. Don't let me interrupt your Lurk. Feel free to ignore me at any time. <laughs> Gather food to grow your population. Every time the food meter is filled, a new unit is added to your army. Nice. Small enough to not matter. <laughs> uh, movement points. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, a certain number of movement points. Uh-huh. Yep, I do know that much, at least. Uh, to move an army, select it. Yep, yep, yep. I've got that. I at least do understand that much. How to break up armies. Ah. You can break up armies into smaller armies, which is useful to explore the map faster in the early stage of the game. Select an individual unit in the army composition selection in the army. Press the transfer button and then select the destination tile for the army. Okay, that's a good one. That's good to know. I might just do that. Is there a way to split up your unit? Yeah, so you even thought of that, Coleman? Dang. Good thinking, Coleman. I didn't even... I didn't even consider that um didn't even occur to me here so all right so population though you know, we gotta we gotta improve that population we gotta start making babies so let's do this um there's a transfer one here and then i just send them on their merry way uh let's go actually that one looks pretty good let's go over here did I do something wrong? There they go. Wild berries, delicious. Have you had bacon jam before? Maybe the other day I'm putting on everything. Wait, bacon jam? Uh, come again? These people are your people, your tribe. In the context of the game, however, a group of units occupying the same tile is called an army. Whether it simply explores, defends a position, or attacks an enemy. Uh-huh, I got that much. I got that much. Uh, this one is not exhausted yet, so let's uh, let's go ahead and split these up. Let's maybe go over here. Oh, I missed that one right there. And then we'll send this group. Um, how far can I get him to go? Over here? Human kind is played in turns. Yep, yep, yep. When there's nothing else to do, this will flash, right? But bacon jam? <laughs> yeah, uh, Steph, can you please elaborate on this bacon jam? Color me intrigued, but um, also kind of cautious. Ooh, a question mark. Must explore question mark. Su uh, Sunderbands? Thunderbands discovered. Breathtaking Sunderbands Forest. Okay, yeah. What does this do? If enabled and when possible, opening a notification will focus the camera. Oh, okay. I kind of like that, actually. I'm going to do that. Highly recommend it. Cook some bacon in a pan extra crispy. Took it out and chopped up. Add chopped onion to the pan and brown sugar and then let it render. Then add everything. Forgot, don't add the chop. Don't forget to add the chopped bacon back in. Ah, okay. And w when you say you put it on everything, like, can you give us some, some examples of what you've been putting it on? 
Oh, it wants me to move over here? I don't know about that one. Actually, let's grab this. We'll grab that first. We got some nuts. Handful of nuts. That's always good. Move over here. And then this party. I'm liking the, the terrain over here. This is looking... This is looking good. Oh, we get a resource? Quite. Okay. I can make another... Can I make an outpost? I need 20 influence to do that. Okay. Loot's going full on caveman. Ooh, question mark. West Explorer, question mark, ooga booga. Of course. Of course. Culture chosen. The nomadic tribe reached the ancient era within the my, with the Mycenaeans. Okay. That's not me, though, right? Nomadic tribe? I am the nomadic tribe, right? Oh, there was a second one. Crap. Okay. Wonderful Kawa Ijin has been locked by another empire. Okay. World deed locked. This is the empire screen here. You can review the progress, achievements, and heritage of your empire. Most importantly, this is where you can track Aristar goals in detail. Please take some time to familiarize yourself with the empire panel. Understanding is key to playing humankind. As Jim Gaffigan once said, bacon is the like the fairy dust of the food world. It can turn a side salad into an actual meal. <laughs> Aforementioned bagel. Okay, bagel with cream cheese. That does sound pretty good. Extra topping on cheeseburger, jacket, potatoes. Okay. Reckon you could use as a chutney too, on top of a uh, camember. I don't know what that is. On top of camember? Or is that like a fancy word where it's where the T is silent? I don't even know. Uh, so which this one got locked? Be the first to discover Kawaiijin. Okay. Complete a symposium. Ooh. Bring the heat. Own a nuclear weapon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm roughly familiar with these. These are they're similar, uh, like wonders in civilization. So that's kind of this seems kind of similar, but uh, cheese. Okay, okay. Commember, commem, com, camer, bake, cam, commember, commember, <laughs> commember. Okay. So we had a cheese uh, that I had never had before last night. Uh, it was um, what was it? Gosh, it was good, though. Uh, uh, Mrs. Magoos, do you remember what they were? Commem beer? Okay, commem beer. See, that's why I figured, like, I was like, that T is probably silent somehow. Um, Neolithic? How did I get here? Three idle armies. Virgin affairs require your attention. Ooh, the fungal hoarder. The shift to fix abodes hasn't been easy for the tri tribesmen and women who'd settled in the outpost, but they'd persevered and now thought of the land as home. When they discovered that one of the one of their number had been hoarding mushrooms that he'd found in a nearby cavern for himself, it was a great blow to the spirit of the tribe. Now they want to banish him for his greed, but that would mean being deprived of location in the mushroom field. What is your reckoning? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Uh, well... We had some sort of cheese called, Ka it was Casa, something Casa? Anybody know? Does that give you enough of a clue? It was a pretty mild tasting cheese. It went fantastic with the prosciutto. That was my favorite combo. It goes really well with brie. Something Casa cheese. Butter Casa, that's it. Butter Casa. See, I knew Mrs. Magoots would remember. Uh, that was probably my favorite. We also had raclette. Sounds German. It does, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Butter cheese, yeah. Uh, Banish might lose some fungi, but we'll make an example of him and post lookouts so this doesn't happen again. Minus 25% on city defense research cost. Protect. The tribesman made a mistake, but he'll learn, and the extra food will be welcome. Bountiful on Morohu for 10 turns. Or retain. The man will leave the settlement, but will remain of the tribe. His days will be dedicated to learning more about this strange species. Only two science for that. But that would get me up to 7 out of 10 to get my era star. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Um, I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect. We're going to be bountiful for 10 terms. Terms? Turns. Okay. Uh, so we got to move these armies. Uh, this is still very shiny over here. Your uh, curiosity. Okay, this tribe is about to grow some more. I like that feature. Is that was that a thing on civilization, or was it just something I like and something I never noticed? 
But it's like my tribe, my baby tribes are going to spawn bigger tribes and then I'll have baby tribes off of them. That's pretty cool. I'm going to be exploring like, like wild here. Hey, what's going on, Trip Chance? Have you ever thought about the possibility that a thousand years later, games like Valheim in this game might be worshipped and considered mythology? <laughs> Maybe. Freshwater harvest. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. Sanctuary. Wait, what's sanctuary? A rich, diverse habitat with plenty to sack. This is a breeding ground for peaceful wildlife who range the surrounding area. Okay. Peaceful wildlife, as in easy prey for me to murder so that I can gain some food. Got it. Got it. Translation received. Uh, what if we go... Let's see. Yeah, let's go... Go here? Kind of go over to these fanny boys over here. Uh, and then maybe this tribe can go over here. Oh, this one's already kind of moved, though. Yeah, let's go towards that way. Where does the king keep his armies? Up the sleeveys. <laughs> Welcome in, at, uh, Greg. How you doing? Um, have you done a Brie stuff pastry, puff pastry appetizer? Take a wheel of Brie, put some jelly on it, and then wrap a puff pastry and bake. Ooh, that does sound good. No, but I'm literally making a shopping list now. Oh, we see that magazine's gonna give it a go. That sounds good. That sounds quite good. All right, we'll end our turn. Uh, the Matic tribe reached the ancient era with the Hittites. When do I get to choose one? Yeah, we gained a population. Gained a population here. So I could turn it into a unit. That's going to remove the population, right? I have one out of four population, and we are bountiful currently. Settlers of Catan. Hey, welcome in, Phil. How are you doing today? Could be Settlers of Catan. Would it sound Gouda? <laughs> I think it would. Gouda. Love a good Gouda. Um, okay, so even though I discovered this question mark, I can't, I'm not advanced enough to know what it is, I suppose. That's what it seems like, at least. Sage. So this is just for, uh, this is just for helping, like, the cities be more productive, it seems. Aristar, yeah! Growth star has been earned. Cultural milestone, you've unlocked the Neolithic era star, allowing you to move to the ancient culture or era and choose your first culture. This will provide you with bonuses and unlock new gameplay possibilities. All right, let's do it. Press Empire button in the Empire banner at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Culture selection. Historically, empires have grown from both their idiosyncrasies and the diversity of cultures they have encompassed or come in contact with. In humankind, you get to combine cultures to create your own empire with more than one million one million possible combinations. Here are the cultures you can choose from for the ancient era. Take some time to browse through them at your own pace, then select one of them <clears throat> for more information. Got it. Okay. Cultural affinity. Uh, this icon represents the culture's affinity. There are seven affinities in the game. Uh, Asthet. Asthet. Agrarian, builder, expansionist, merchant, militarist, scientist. We will look at culture details more closely on the confirmation screen. Take your time to familiarize yourself with this first set of cultures. I will. Provided I don't get more pop-ups here. Assyrians, the tallest blade is the first to be cut by the scythe. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> uh, do you guys have Maltesers? Um, not the people, the chocolates, but the people, not the people from Malta. Let's shovel away. Uh, so it's chocolates? I don't know. Three pepper cheese by Boar's Head? Mmm. I haven't had that, but uh, I do, I mean, I do have access to Boar's Head. It's actually at our local grocery store. Not that brand, but you have malted milk balls. Shocked. Maltesers. Okay, so there's malted milk balls. Remember them? Pretty dope. Maltesers. Okay. Ooh, Babylonians. I kind of like this. Let's see. More details. Rapid or raid masters, <laughs> rapid masters, adding an extra letter in there. Uh, one land movement speed on unit, five combat strength bonus when ransacking an army. Okay, plus two influence, plus 10 district fortification, plus one combat strength in combat for units in or adjacent to the district is land unit spawn is fortified. Okay, 
Syrian Raiders. Look at those. That's a pretty special unit. 21 strength. Okay. Let's check out the Babylonians, though. Where the mind can see, the physical body can follow. Brilliant philosophers. Plus two science uh, per research technologies on capital. Ooh. Astronomy house minus 10 stability. Plus three science per adjacent farmer's quarter. On city or outpost. Plus one food per researcher. Plus one science per researcher. Plus one researcher slot count as farmer's quarter. Count as research. I don't know what all this stuff means. And then I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Because, whew. Best grilled cheese ever? Really? Okay. I like the idea of a, a little bit of a... I assume the, the pepper cheese is a little bit spicy, right? Of course, the Egyptians are super interesting. Plus one industry on the tile, producing industry. Minus 10 on district industry costs. Okay. I like this. So, so Egyptians would obviously be good builders. I like this. Olmex? Ooh. Makes me think of Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh, oops. Javelin throwers? Okay, come on. Track and field guys got to go with javelin throwers, right? Plus one influence on territory. Natural harmony. I like this. Plus one influence. Plus three food. My sensibility. Plus one influence per adjacent armor's quarter. Okay. I still don't know what all this means, but. Steph going Phoenicians. Oh, yeah. That does sound pretty good. Okay. So the rest of them are locked, right? Like these are locked. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay. All right. So uh, a number of them can be locked. I'm going to go with the Olmex. Because again, this makes me think of, uh, yeah, Javelins and Influence. And we're talking about Olmec, which makes me think of uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. I mean, the game that I would have sold my soul to be on when I was a kid. Yeah, we're going for it. Anybody seen that show? All I see is the boat, right? What does Influence mean? Um, I think it means... Uh, I mean, it's this. <laughs> I think that's what it means, but yeah. The more influential you are, the more you do this. So, I'm going to go Bodie, Bodie boys no matter what. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, Here we go. I think we're going to, maybe we'll get something out of this. This is the culture's legacy trait, a gameplay modifier that will remain active until the very end of the game. Each culture has a different trait, and traits will add up as you com progress through eras and combine more cultures. Whoops. <laughs> Culture emblematics, finally an emblematic quarter and an emblematic unit, both of which can be can only be built by this culture. Bear in mind that both might require a given technology and or a particular resource to be built. Hover over the thumbnail illustrations to learn about any potential prerequisite. Loot some influence. Yeah, there you go. There you go. For some reason, mine are not. Mine, mine go through periods of not working, but as long as you can see it, that's all that matters. Culture details. Take some time to hover over the different elements and familiar stuff. familiarize yourself with the above notions. The amount of information might look staggering at first. Oh, it is. But after a few games, you will understand all of it. That is a lot of pressure. This game thinks that they might be over overestimating me here. But in your early playthroughs, we suggest you play the cultures that feel right and appealing to you and don't overthink culture selection. Perfect. We did exactly what we're supposed to. And that, that just is confirmation for Coleman, too. I think it is multiplayer, yeah. I think you, I, it can be multiplayer. Although, there is multiplayer. I know that much. I don't know what types of multiplayer you can do, but I do know that there is multiplayer. In your early playthroughs, we... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when shorts is made? Yeah, yeah, we did that already. Okay, we're going to confirm it. We are now Olmex. Uh, the only... The only um, knowledge I have about the multiplayer-ness is the fact that I saw somebody playing and their stream title said playing multiplayer today. So, unless they were just totally lying. Oh, you know. But it was on the internet, so it has to be true. Are there any Medes, Persians, or Parthians? Since I'm Iranian, uh, I know they all used to have cool weapons. Maybe there is at some point. I'm not sure. There is multiplayer? Nice. You've won your first era star. Tales of your accomplishments begin to spread across the land. Although I feel like I was the last one to get that era star. Your tribe is ready to enter the ancient era whenever you decide to. Press the empire button at a time. Uh huh. Empire button is this one here. Let's do it. How do I go to the? Uh, I guess I go over here to ancient. Era stars. Mm hmm. 
I already see the guild multiplayer games on the horizons. Oh, yeah. Do you? How do I uh, leave your mark in history and win the game? 20 fame points. OK. Ah, OK. If you get I'm in second right now, is that what that or third? Is that what that means? I'm in either third, fourth, fifth or sixth. OK. Sure. Funnily enough, this game is our history, of course. Influence. Every empire's traditions and customs have been spread from territory to territory. In humankind, this propagation is known as cultural influence or in or purple star influence. There are many ways that you can earn or spend influence in the game. In the Neolithic, Neolithic era, earn influence by hunting or discovering science curiosities. You can then use influence to found your first outpost and take control over territories. Got it. Welcome to humankind. This is the beginning of a journey that will see you leave your mark on history. Yeah, so I think that... Um, Influence sounds kind of like colonization. Yeah, I'm thinking influence is maybe it's similar to like, was it culture in a uh, in civilization where you can kind of like you can take on. Oh, that's a creature right there. Some deer or I don't know what those are. They're tiny, though. Look how large my characters are compared to those tiny little creatures running around. Um, but in, in civilization, you could you could basically take over other like cities if you're if your uh, culture was strong enough. What is that? Uh, <laughs> <og. laughs> Loose people are, in fact, uh, Kaoju. Keep calm and follow the hints. All right. New to strategy games. Not about the idea of learning their mechanics. Don't worry. We've got you covered. This hint is the first in a series that will help you get started. The first? I don't think so. Yeah, look at all these. Uh, you can play a more capitalistic Civ, and I'll play a socialistic one, and we'll see who wins. <laughs> oh, gosh. About the size that you in with them. Where are Jaegers? Kaiju? Come on, brain. It's all good. I, I honestly, I'm not sure. I wasn't sure what it was supposed to be. Fame rewards the deeds of your tribe as tales of their accomplishments echo through the wilderness. In the Neolithic era, gain fame by discovering natural wonders or earning one of the three possible era stars. Population science hunting. Earn as much fame as possible. Leave your mark on history and win the game. We'll cover fame in more detail when you reach the ancient era. Yeah, I'm trying to get there right now. Can I do it now? Has not been reached. Okay, so how do I uh, show cultures? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It said that I only needed one era star, right? Oh, yeah, the deeds, right? I remember those. Okay. Growth star completed. I don't know. Future combat, I'm waiting for it. All right, have to take off and do some actual work instead of sit here and be distracted all morning. Fair enough, Aska. I expect to see some significant, some magnificent lips next time after all our support. Oh gosh, oh my! When you first said it, my brain went Khajiit. <laughs> yeah, have a good day, Aska. Appreciate appreciate the the donation and the uh, the lips. I guess the <laughs> goodness. All right, I guess I'm not advancing for right now. Maybe I have to do something else. That catches on Discord sounds good. Sounds good. Lips? What? Yeah. Uh, so when you're making, so you saw this character, right? So when I was making the character, I was trying to make him and look as close to myself as I could, which there weren't a whole lot of great options for that. Uh, but it was hard to find a set of lips that match mine. So uh, I just said my lips are, you know, all the lips were either super tiny or super large. And I was like, well, I have somewhat big lips, but not like massive lips. So like, what do I do? How do I choose my lips? You know, not getting filler. No. You <laughs> see the Kaiju aspect uh, is ta settlers tower over the trees. True, right? Look at this. And look at these animals here. I'm supposed to be hunting, but army gained a new unit. Yep, yep, yep. Take some time to familiarize yourself with what your armies can do for you. Um. Okay, I think I just need to keep uh, sending them off in another direction here. Got to keep splitting. Yes. All right, how's that? 
Do these? Okay, so once I explore them, they show up on the map, but it still gets foggy. So, all right, fair enough. Humankind, love to see you. How you doing, Master Jeebles? Welcome in. I'm brand new. This is my first time playing the game. A science curiosity. Uh, I will get there, actually. Thanks for the suggestion, game. Take this party over here. They can kind of explore this valley. Curiosity collected. All right. And what about this? A uh, sanctuary? Animal sanctuaries. Ransack animal sanctuaries to gain large amounts of food and prevent animals from spawn prevent animals from spawning in the area? Do we Do we want that? To ransack a sanctuary, select an army, press the ransack button in the army panel. Oh, okay, hang on a second. I don't want to do this. Uh select an army. Uh, no. Okay, hang on. Ransack is this one? Here we go. Okay. Um, and select the tile where the sanctuary is located. Ransack the sanctuary might take a few turns to complete. Okay. Let's give this. This is our first time giving this a shot. Yeah! For Narnia! Oh, the Shia! <laughs> Not getting lip fillers. He's already got one. Oh, gosh. Back alley Botox stream. Let's go. <laughs> From the best cosmetic surgeon, the nature. Lip turning on auto ex tip turning on auto explorer will send your tribes people straight to curiosities. Will it really now? Auto explorer is that uh, over here somewhere? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Auto explorer. But then what would I do? This game can play itself without needing me. I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn. Uh, do I need to make a? Maybe I have to next era so maybe i gotta get the uh i gotta wait one turn before doing it i'm not really sure are the challenges of a young okay cut scene here we go it's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't Humankind just triggered chaotic remotely <laughs> if you're terrified of wild animals you can grow lentils or catch fish Ooh. Tribes settle towns. simple lentil towns farmer develop markets and markets begin the exchange of goods services and most important, rumors and Ooh. ESA. Ooh, look at that. Toe in the water, play 10 go. turns. We know the Olmec traded their marvelously crafted goods of jade, but we know little more. Ancient era, time. let's go. Left side of the panel to ransack for uh, just for the first era. Okay. Chaotic wakes up suddenly from nap, loose. <laughs> I would give anything just to live in this area. Wait, what do you mean? The cutscene or the one I'm in currently? As the Olmex, you've reached the ancient era. Cities can now be created by selecting one of your outposts and evolving it into a city. I think that I shall. Go to Empire screen. Uh, wait a minute. Successfully plundered. Sweet. Nomadic tribe reached the ancient era with the Nubians. Okay. All right, go to Empire screen. Is this going to help me with anything here? Reach a total of 600 influence. Dang, okay. Rewards 150 fame, though? That's pretty It's pretty legit. The one I'm in? You really would like to be here? I, I mean, I'm wrong. I would like to be as a bystander, but I don't know about living in it. You know what I mean? I would like to go back and witness it firsthand. I don't know about actually living it, because holy crap, history is terrifying, okay? Um, we've talked about the oceans being terrifying, as well as the outer space. Our freaking history is terrifying. You guys know? Is it crazy I have 100 hours in this game already? No. Crazy awesome. No Discord back then? True. Too true. All right. Own six territories attached to any city, including the city's territory. Current value, zero. Okay. Uh, Air Star is unlocked. This turn would grant 100 fame. Man, you can get pretty dang famous. Pretty dang famous. So I could look back here too. Do these still give me? These probably don't give me any any stars, do they? Probably not. Okay. Probably only work on these now. History is always terrifying, no matter which point of it you're at. Uh, true, but let's just put it this way: our life expectancy as a human race has gone up dramatically since the times that you're referring to. Uh, there's a reason for that. 
Onward to a new era, a major step for your, you and your civilization. The rules are earning for earning fame have changed. Perfect. There it is. That answered my question. Empire of the most fame will win the game, so it's important to know how to earn it. You can enter the Empire screen to see your current objectives. All right. Got it. Uh, Esthet. Esthet? That doesn't sound right. Olmecs were preceded by... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. These Aztecs? actually don't know the answer to that. Uh, sexfully, <laughs> sexfully ransacked. You're successfully ransacked. Your spoils are displayed in the pin above the ransack tile. Okay. In the pin. Uh, era stars and fame. Uh, you need to obtain at least seven air stars to unlock the option to progress to the next era. Mm hmm Got that much. Okay. So I got, um, spawn point ransack. Okay. And then I can make a territory pretty much whenever I want, but I'm not within the city anymore. There is a white dotted line here, so I think I'm getting close to somebody else's city, potentially. Or, you know, territory, at least. And here, scouts. Ooh. When did these turn into scouts as opposed to a hunting party? Follow me. Aha! A deer! It's peaceful. I said I'd give anything to live in that era if the price is my life expectancy. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I mean, uh, to each their own. To each their own. Go to this question mark here. Ah, we found the end of the line over here. Did I... So, did I get this? Or do I have to, like, somehow collect on it? Start heading back. Let's go. Okay. Um... This one is exhausted now, too. Go to the other... One of your outposts can be turned into a city. Okay. Your first city. You are now ready to build your first city, the capital of your empire. Select the outpost you wish to grow into a city, then select evolve. Uh-huh. Creating cities costs influence, but your capital comes for free. Take some time to determine the most strategic site. In particular, pay attention to the resource production nearby tiles and the natural protection offered by the train. Okay. So, uh, I can turn this one to a city, but do I want to? You get the first one for free. I think I'm going to do it. It's a tutorial, after all. San Lorenzo. Welcome, everybody, to San Lorenzo. I actually really like that name. Who has seen the L uh, LIDAR images, Mexico? It's crazy. I've not. So the Olmecs did precede the Aztecs and were the earliest Mesoamerican civilization, according to Wiki. Okay, today I learned something. Absolutely. They turned into scouts after you switched eras. You got the gold already. Got you. Okay. Name your city Looty Town. <laughs> Lutz McCity. Uh, if you only have one... What's going on, Toast? How you doing? How have you been? If you only have one, you have to turn it. The game won't let you proceed to the next turn without doing it. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Fair enough. So either way, I was going to do it just because I didn't want to fall too far behind, but... Isn't San Lorenzo the next GTA game? Probably. Probably. Cities are the beating heart of your empire. Manage them well and see your civilization thrive. Cities are where you construct districts, infrastructures, military units, shared projects, wonders, and holy sites, as well as public ceremonies. The moon icon on the city pin indicates that your city is currently idle. Cities cannot be idle at any given time during the game. So you'll have to start constructing before you end the turn. Okay. Okay, start constructing. Got it. Okay, okay. First construction. The city and outpost panel allows you to manage your cities. Hover over the population fortification districts icon at the top for your overview of your city's development. Take some time to stroll through the constructions list and hover over constructions for more information. We suggest you start with constructing a district. Okay. What's good? Sorry, I've been taking a bit of a break from Twitch. No worries. You don't have to apologize for that. Nothing nothing worthy of apologizing for. Uh, everybody needs a break from time to time. Just hope you've been doing all right. Hope you've been doing okay. Uh, Olmec head. Oh, yeah, we're going with this. Towering many spans, uh, higher than a man. Towering many spans higher than a man. The statues imbue every soul who stands before them with powerful conviction. Plus three food, plus one influence. Plus one influence per adjacent farmer's quarter. I like that one. Maker's quarter? Okay. We're trying to get influential here, so... Did you know uh, the Olmecs practice ritual bloodletting, so you have that to look forward to? Awesome! Awesome. Likewise? Yeah, for sure. For sure. 
Technology unlocked. Technology has been unlocked, and your scientists will soon research new ways of filling your strategic dreams. Got it. Okay, do I get to choose? Let's do this first. Okay, do we? Yeah, I, I really love the researching in these games. Three research or three science per turn. Domestication, taming and breeding of wild animals such as pigs and buffalo bring new means of eating and working. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Calendar. Now that you are living in permanent settlements, villagers want to track the changes of the season and organize the planting of crops. Carpentry. Art of woodworking is essential for bow making and lays the foundation for future constructions. Or city defense. With the advent of permanent settlements, thought naturally turns to security and defense. The earliest innovations are simple but effective. Okay, let's go with domestication. It's only seven turns. And that'll give us more food so we'll be able to move quicker. That's kind of what I'm thinking at least, but. You'll gain influence from the head uh, or the inf one infrastructure building you have to build. All right. I, I just want the Olmec head because, again, Legends of the Hidden Temple. I, I feel like nobody said that they've seen it before unless I missed your message, so. I feel like I'm. I feel like I might be alone on this one here. I'm going to do it, though. Um, let's see. District placement suggestion. This game automatically suggests tiles with the optimal resource output for your for you to place your districts on. On the suggestion pin, you can see the amount of resources gained on top of the amount of resources and stability lost below. We will cover stability shortly. For now, it's best you follow the suggestion. <clears throat> Hovering over the suggested tile will let you know how distort okay, yeah, resource output is calculated. Right, right, right. Okay. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yes, I'm glad somebody's seen it. Okay. Master Deep. Okay, and DJ seen it as well. This ties in with our cold meetings of Valheim. Absolutely, it does. Absolutely. So we want to do. Oh, this one looks like maybe the least uh, minus ten stability, but we gain nine food and one influence here. Nine food. Seems like the best one right there. Yeah, we're going with this one. Let's start constructing that Olmec head. Then we can do our own Legends of the Hidden Temple. Am I done with this? That and Guts, a man, those were integral parts of my childhood afternoons. I know, right? Uh, like I said earlier, I would have sold my soul to be on uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple as a kid. My goodness. <clears throat> Your first district is under construction. As you can see in the construction queue, the construction will take a number of turns to complete. The more industry your city produces, the fewer turns it will take to finish. Yep, this sounds. this is very familiar right here. You can buy it out. Hmm, okay. 231 money. I'm getting 10 money per th per turn. Is that right? Or no, three turns. Three money per turn. Okay. All right. Uh, One second, my friends. I have a message that I need to respond to or at least read. It seems like there might be something important here. Uh, boop, boop, boop. Hang on just a second, my friends. Hmm. Oh, what's going on, Professor? How you doing? Here's everybody. Welcome in, Professor. Hey, what's going on, Hot Cheeto? How you doing, man? I would love to have been a contestant on American Gladiators. Oh my gosh. American Gladiators just get freaking messed up. Dude, American Gladiators was a cool show. <clears throat> But also, holy crap, them some athletes right there. Uh, just one second, my friends. I'm trying to get caught up on a message uh, thread um, related to coaching. So, <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Yeah, all good. All good. All right. Sorry, my friends. Changed my mind. You should have named your town Las Vegas. You think so? I want a piece of the aggro crag so badly, but I would have loved to be on Legends of the Hidden Temple. Oh, that's true. The aggro crag for sure. <laughs> Legends of the Hidden Temple for sure. So good. Nitro. Olmec also means rubber people, which came from the production and discovery of latex. Is that, is that actually true, Balinor? That was so good. It was one of my favorite shows as a kid. I also played in the UK, so it was kind of my first look into the US. Oh, gosh. 
Oh gosh. Is that an accurate way to judge us? Probably. Las Loot Test would also be cool. Loot Vegas? Come on, man. <laughs> Welcome to Loot Vegas. Wait. I have I had two tribes that were that close? Okay. Not tribes, but you know, scouting parties. <clears throat> On the internet. It's on the internet loot, so it must be true. True. Also, is the first one like really inclusive game shows of its time because it was that one deaf woman glider. Can't remember her name. So much muscle, so many mullets. Of course. It didn't get so there was an old American Gladiators, right? And then it got back brought back. Um I don't know how much longer it would have been, but it got it got brought back, right? And then and then it got brought back again. Am I remembering things properly? What is this over here? Oh, a bo a oh gosh. Oh gosh, what does this mean? Open the battle mode? What is this? What in the world is this? Okay, so... 14 fighting to 11... I don't understand. Old American Gladiator should have been called competing with steroids. Old American Gladiator is what I watched? Gotcha. Siren. Siren, huh? Um, I think I might try to murder this deer over here. Um, let's see. Clear forest ransack. There's no valid target in range. Okay. What does this do, though? Oh, this is, oh, this is going to take more turns. They already moved. Okay. All right. Okay. So I, that did, that did nothing. There's got to be... Okay, here's... This turn... That one's exhausted. This one is exhausted. And so is this one. So, like, I don't even know what to... I'm just going to do it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to do it. Can you run down that deer? I'm going to try. Have you ever played any strategy RPGs? Strategy RPGs. What would you say? Oh, like Final Fantasy? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I mean, I've played, um, I've played, uh, st Stick of Truth, South, South Park Stick of Truth. Does that count? Actually has a really good combat system. Uh, the game's a total joke, but, uh, it's actually pretty dang good. But there's American Gladiator Revival Season early 2000. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking of. I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, um, let's see. Since we're doing that deep dive, does anybody remember Slam Ball or that American Gladiator ripoff where everybody was on rollerblades? Oh, yes. I remember that. Uh, Roller Jam called roller jam i remember that i watched that more than i'd like to admit which would be yours if you can survive until the end of the battle or if you eliminate every enemy unit to battle the battle's about to begin uh-oh all right okay you can still retreat if you feel victory is out of your reach otherwise press the manual battle button uh, to enter the unit deployment phase note that you can also instantly resolve the battle in this case the computer will play in your stead which can be useful to quickly resolve battles that you are sure to win. On the other hand, you may want to manually resolve battles that you are not certain you will win. Manually resolve battles? Like, there's actual combat here? I'm going to do a manual battle. Um, Do we need fight music for this? Yes. Let's freaking go. How do we do this, though? <laughs> Move. Thing is, they do they even have any? Oh, I'll probably have to replay. Computer is terrible. Doesn't and don't instant resolve. All right. Pay close attention to elevation and attack range. You will always strike much harder if attacking from higher position. Okay. First, you deploy. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. In order to move a unit onto a different deployment tile, select the unit and then the destination tile. If you select a tile with a unit on it, units will switch positions. When you are happy with your deployment, press the end deployment button. All right. Hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, I only have what one. Slows unit movement and restricts vision, but provides a defensive bonus against missile fire. I don't think this bear is going to shoot any missiles at me. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, so none of these open ground, uh, heavily restricts unit movement and applies a heavy combat strength penalty. Okay. Hmm. All right. 
Restricts vision. Slows unit movement. Okay. Okay. Grid-based turn combat. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Funny to mention, one of the things that always fascinated me since I was a kid was Baghdad, Persian battery, which was made around 250 BC and uh, AD 240, 224. So I don't know why they had a battery pack then. Like, how? <laughs> I don't know. Roller jam, right? Yeah, it was a guilty pleasure. It was, for sure. Summer movie a long time ago called Thunderball. Gotcha. Thunderball, huh? You have to protect your flag. You don't have to go after it. The bear won't go after it, but other enemies will. Okay. You think of Running Man for whatever reason. I badly want to watch it. This game gives me Civ vibes, but now you've entered battle and really throw me for a loop. I have no idea what the heck's going on. I'm just going to move here. Um, I'd only have the one, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is all about learning here. In order to move your units to... In order to... To order one of your units to move, select it, then select the move action in the panel, management panel, <laughs> battle management panel, and finally select the destination tile. Certainly, you can directly select the destination, destination tile with right-click instead. It's the fast way to play. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This all makes sense. To order one of your units to attack, select it, and then select the attack. Okay. Alternatively, you can directly select the unit you want to attack with instead. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. I know all that. Okay. Battle rounds. The number of battle rounds is turn played every turn. Number of remaining turns and rounds can be found in the top panel. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a 4X game, so it's the same genre. Fair enough. Sumerians were the first culture to create beer, if I remember correctly. Okay. Hmm. What came up with writing in the region? I'm not sure. All right. Uh, so let's, uh, let's freaking attack here. This is going to do more damage to them than me, right? Minimum is 22, max is 33. I like this, okay. Yeah, I, I get it. I can only use, I can only attack from, from one right here, I think, right? So there's so many dang pop-ups here. I'm just gonna attack, just time to attack. Yeah, that bear's getting hurt every time. Oh, the bear is dead. All right, so we gained the we got the bear's money. We took the bear's ten money, so that's good. Uh, the bear was carrying around ten dollar reduce that are now ours. Spoils they missed none. Okay, lasted for one turn and two battle rounds. Okay, once you have a city, ending your turn will advance any ongoing. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Okay, and I think that's all I can do, right? So, yeah. Okay, cool. We won our first battle against the bear. Battle of the bear, if you will. There's some copper over here, though. We need to research the technology bronze working available during ancient era. Okay. Writing for sure. Cuneiform script on clay tablets. Phoenicians created the alphabet and alphabet. Before then, it is a pictorial system of language. I'm trying to remember my ancient Near Eastern history. World deed. A wonderful lake... Baikal has been locked by another empire. Okay. They're gaining more fame than I've got. Um. Liberate? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I didn't... Interesting. All right. I'm having trouble remembering what I've read 12 years ago, too. <laughs> Melee units have a retribution attack associated with their combat, so when a melee unit attacks, the opposing unit gets to return damage at a lesser degree. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I noticed that. That's a that's a pretty cool pretty cool feature. I want these horsies though. But I have to research the technology domestication, which is what I am currently researching. I've got six more turns to get there. What is this one though? Society? Olmex. Oh, can I see other? I probably can't yet. How big is this map, though? Pretty, pretty dang large. And I'm on it like six times. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Obviously, it it's it it repeats here. But, all right. San Lorenzo. How do I get out of here again? Do I just zoom in? That's pretty cool. Just zoom in a little further. 
I'm um, getting six influence per turn. I like that. Seems like a decent amount for such an early part of the game. Uh, these guys are sort of in a... Uh, sort of in a uh, no man's land over here. Could try to build another territory. Have enough for that. <laughs> Babylonia. Don't remember much about the Olmecs and Toltecs. Much better Babylonia, Sumeria, and Phoenicia. Now that Professor EXP is here, we can run all our Olmec trivia through him. I, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Babylonia is cool. Tell that to my students. Oh, gosh. All right. Did I... And these, these ones can attack, right? Let's do this. Let's go attack this very peaceful deer. How do I... Okay, I won't do instant. I'm just kind of curious how this is going to work here. Did it de Does it deploy him here? All right, so now I can uh, I can attack. Charge. Poor deer. We got to eat, though. Oh, it's... Oh, it did try to come back and attack. Wow, okay. For small animals, instant is okay. Gotcha. Right, so we got five money on that deer. Again, I don't really know why these deer are carrying around cash, but... Hunt at Kuma. Any other battles? The AI is dumb and I would manual. I gotcha. I gotcha. No worries. That makes sense. Is this one exhausted now? It is. Okay. Um, let's go with... Let's go to this shiny question mark over here. What is this? We don't know. Okay. Let's go over here then. Another sanctuary. Right. That'll have to be for next time. Uh, all of the... Nope, this one's not exhausted yet. I have an Arab ancestry, Le Lebanon and Syria, so I spent a lot of time ago reading... A lot of time years ago reading the history of the Arab world. I'm less versed on Persia. Gotcha. What is... Uh, I can't use this, right? I can't. Okay. These guys will heal on their own, right? Claim territory? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I could claim a territory over here, and this would eventually be helpful, right? Cannot be done without 60. Oh, the cost went up. Okay. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Then let's go ahead and do a little more exploration here. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're finding the end of the line over here. Okay. Yeah, these guys. Maybe I should make them go. I don't know which way I should make them go. I guess I, uh, they should ransack the animal uh, sanctuary over here. Right there. Gonna take them a one turn to do so. Okay. Past Neolithic units don't just heal on their own. Okay, gotcha. So, I have to stay here for them to ransack, right? That's my guess, at least. Let's get these... These guys to move over this way. Oh, I'm going to be right on a deer tile? Maybe I'll have to move another one over. Okay. Damaged. So this time will heal them. Many members of the unit have endured serious wounds. Time will heal them. Four out of four still mo uh, movements remaining. Uh, this one's all sparkly. These are all sparkly over here. But there's potentially some more land over here. So maybe I want to send them over this way. I don't know if it's going to actually matter or not. But there's another group up there that can kind of just go east. So let's try to take this group and go this way. This group should go north. Oh, 
What is that? Silk? And what's here? Why can't they go over here? Um. Hmm. Okay. A second. Oh, did I? Oh, probably because I told him to go there. Okay. Uh, maybe they can go. Yeah, let's have him go this way then. Understood. Silk, though. Oh wait. What was there? What's here? It seems like this. There could be a good place to build a uh, outpost. Or, uh, territory, I mean. San Lorenzo still doing all right? Oh, somebody chose the Assyrians. The first ransack is not very friendly, but it's better to be the ransacker than the ransacky. The further away from the capital, more, uh, the more expensive outposts are. That makes sense. Okay. Appreciate that tip. Just something to keep in mind, yeah. I uh, was impressed with the map graphics. Then I saw you zoom in. Looks better up close. I agree. I agree. It's pretty pretty nice, actually. All right. So we ransacked this right here. Okay. I could turn on auto explore, I suppose. I'm just wondering if they would run into each other. My armies. I don't know if they would or not. Maybe start moving them. Let's see. I might try it. Let's try auto explore. Just kind of curious of how this will, how this will work out. Auto explore is on. Okay, why didn't they move all the way? Why didn't they move all the way? Hmm. I don't think auto explorer works very well. Okay. All right. Good to know. Yeah, that was kind of strange. It's nice that that's a thing. But I don't know that I want to like waste half my turn. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Let's try to go continue going this direction. Off we go. A lot to explore. Fast using it to exploit. It's pathing to ne Neolithic Age curiosity. I don't think it's worth using. Okay, gotcha. Rewrite rewriting the history. Be careful. Oh, very careful. Hmm. Uh, well, somebody. I don't know if I used them, but. They ended up being fully exhausted. Rapid and dangerous, the Hittites. Get ready to hear the sound of chariots when you least expect it. I just saw another another uh, person run by. You've just met another empire. Will they become friend or foe? From now on, you can manage your relations with them through diplomacy. Select their diplomatic icon in the upper part of the screen. Enter the diplomacy screen. Okay. I guess I want to check that out right now. I offer an excellent proposition. The Hittites. This sounds like a good deal. Ooh, my leader thinks it's a good deal. Okay. Um. Hittites just proposed to improve your relationship. Okay. Welcome to Humankind's Diplomacy Screen. This is where you will manage all the diplomatic relations with foreign empires. As one of those gameplay systems might uh, first seem complex, bear in mind that it takes everyone a few games to understand and master its subtleties. Be the leader you want to be, find allies, trade resources, sign treaties, or declare war. So let's take a quick tour of diplomacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Answering treaty proposals. Mm hmm Note that refusing the offer will increase the other empire's war support. Okay. Countering means that you are willing to accept the proposal if they add a fixed amount of money. Hover over the counter button to see how much money you will ask the other party. Okay. Um, let's see. Forbid new trade. Only trade luxuries. Uh, okay. Wonder how many historians they had involved in writing this game. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to accept. It's my first offer. But first things first, headlining the diplomacy screen is your diplomatic relations state. Each empire has a relationship with every other empire in the game, and this relationship is defined to a great extent by its current relations state. 
Hover over your current diplomatic relations state to view what diplomatic abilities are available in the state and which are not. More support prevents your people's animosity against a specific empire. It is the fuel for war. Your people's morale will be broken if you run out, and they will force you to agree to surrender. Oh. So, more on war support and its role in surrender terms if and when you declare a war. Okay. Treaties. Treaties are additional accords uh, added on top of a state of peace or alliance, adding or removing one or most diplomatic abilities on both sides of the relation. By default, you start on the left column of treaties and will progressively work your way to the right if you decide to deepen your ties with the empire you are dealing with. We'll soon cover treaties. Okay, let's just hover over this right now. Both empires are at peace. Uh -huh. Attacks within other empires' borders are strictly forbidden. Skirmishes in neutral territory may not immediately lead to war. No new trade exchanges can be set up by either empire. Existing trade routes are in effect. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and accept this. Empires can only trade luxury resources between each other. There is much to admire here. Accepted. We got two nations on two different continents to me, so I don't think they use many historians. Look at that as well. The Olmecs and Hittites, that's a big distance. That's what makes the game fun, you guys. Select the treaty you wish to propose. Trade everything. Share maps. Oh, we can... Okay, we revealed each other's capitals. Open borders. Oh, okay. Tolerate skirmishes, non-aggression pact. Hmm, okay. Trade. I don't have any of these yet, but... Surprise war! <laughs> Surprise! Uh, uh, okay. Diplomatic abilities such as surprise war, proposed alliance. These abilities evolve following your diplomatic relation state. Also, you can <clears throat> view each empire's relations next to their avatars, right? Okay. It's like making a movie Zeus for Spider-Man. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. All right. One second. Uh... Word of the Empire has now reached the Hittites. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's try to find out where they're... Okay, they're up here. Atuza. War, we expect nothing less, Luz. <laughs> oh, gosh. Wow. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Did I... Are any of these work messages, though? Hang on just a second, my friends. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. We need the video game God of War and Spider-Man mashup? Of course. Sounds good. All right. They were, in fact, not work messages. Okay, I'm going to try to... I don't know what a good stopping point is in any of these games, if there even exists such a thing. Over so, oh, okay, they ran out of space over here. Right. Oh, there's another sanctuary. Okay, move over here and get ready to ransack it. Uh, all right, this group. Okay, so there's a huge mass on over here. What is the purpose of attacking these? Uh, plus two food, plus two industry, plus one vision range. Okay. I don't know that I want to attack. It's it's uh, attack power is not much lower than my own. Hmm. Okay. This group probably needs to move. Can I go this way? I haven't been over here yet. Okay. How far away am I from my own capital? Not super far. How much would it cost over here? Okay, 10 influence right there. I can make a new outpost. I like this. I like this a lot. I might do that, actually. Just to give it a shot. So we have 6 and 14, or we have 5 and 15. Hmm. Hmm. Um, let's just give it a shot right here. Okay. Fims, food, industry, money, and science are four key resources that an empire will exploit. 
Main Plaza exploits. Let's see. Thailand Witch, a city is created. It's called the Main Plaza. Days of your early outposts are long gone and now have given place to architectural magnificence. Main Plaza exploits and produces multiple resources simultaneously. Uh, Main Plaza also serves as the original spawn point of your military units and is the tile from which all future urban development will stem. Okay. How far away am I from the Olmec head? Four more turns. Okay. Four more turns. I'm mean, looking forward to that, though. Um, all right. There's a way to switch to your units, right? Is it this? Okay. All right, so this group needs four movements still. Uh, and how, or if I can get over there, I probably can't get over there without a boat. Without a boat, it seems. So it seems like I might be on my own kind of continent here. Let's go. But let's see. Maybe there's a land bridge that has yet to be revealed. It's exhausted. All four are exhausted. All right. Those guys are still healing a little bit. We got a new territory. We should try to find another territory to build. Uh, maybe near... Oh, here are the Hittites. I just want to click on them. It's a hunting party. So there's like... There's copper over here. Bronze working. I think eventually I'm going to want that. Uh, this group is... Okay, this one's kind of more at the dead end area here. What if I try to... How much does an outpost here? Okay, so 120 over here. That's a lot. Okay. But maybe I could have them... Let's go. Finish exploring a little bit. This group, though... Let's try to go this way. Off we go. There might actually be a land bridge over here. Didn't seem like there was going to be, but possible. Okay, this hunting party. Really know what to have it do. I just keep looking around. There's a mystery there. Oh, you know what? This one still has Auto Explorer turned on. Maybe I'll turn that off. Get really get used to not working. Drinking coffee on the couch with loot stream into my TV. Uh, that does sound pretty good. I mean, particularly the drinking coffee on the couch. You said you have two weeks off. Is that right, Lady Iron? Two weeks? I would love to take a good long vacation like that. It's been been a while since I think Christmas time that I had a uh, more than one week at a time. How much does it cost to found an outpost over here? Ah, 70. Okay. 70, unless we move it uh, a little closer, it seems. Okay. What if the outpost, uh, maybe an outpost being closer to another outpost? I don't know if that matters or not. I suggest vodka, not coffee. <laughs> This actually might might be some land up here. Okay. I don't, I don't know where my hunting party went. There could be some land up there. Probably not much, but let's see if we can't explore it anyway. Off we go. Okay, that'll be it for that one. This one I'm going to continue pushing out this way. Oh, what's going on, Lo? How you doing? Cheers! Holy crap, 14 months I've been with the channel for? That's unreal, right? Cheers, everybody, to low 320. Hope you're having a good day. Supposed to be my UK trip, but we canceled, so just a staycation now. Gotcha, okay. What, uh, are you doing anything, like, near, near home, then? Adjacent tiles to a hostile army or unit are called their zone of control. Moving through the zone of control will cost you more movement points. Oh, okay. Okay. There's a sanctuary over there I'm going to try to take. How have things been, though, Lo? Hope you've been doing all right. Oh, hang on a second. Old Horde. Okay. Uh, that gave me 20... What does this do? 
Cultural Blitz. Immediately bring one of your Empire's territories back into its sphere of influence and gain influence for each adjacent territory already in your sphere. If you don't have the strongest influence in the territory, there's a high chance it will start converting back after you use this action. Okay, wait a minute. What? I It costs 30 money. Uh, I don't know how much good that would do. Aha, more Hittites. So yeah, there, there must be a uh, land bridge between us. Let's try to... Wait a minute. No, no, no. Cancel that movement. Can I ransack? Wait a minute. I'm in there. T Come over here. That cost me four to get out of this. Wow. Uh. Jeez. Okay. Don't need to use that ability right now. Yeah. We're in the UK. We're going to visit. Oh, okay. There's the anniversary dinner massages. And then, yeah, the, you told me about yesterday, I think, right? In the week visiting some historic houses with a friend. Historic New England has some great locations. Awesome. There you go. Yeah, Mrs. Magoots and I did a staycation. Uh, I forget how long ago it was. It's been a while. It was before COVID, but uh, we did like some paddle boating, um, an escape room, just various things like that. I think we might have went bowling. Okay, this army is going nowhere fast, huh? Okay, going nowhere fast. I should try to find a fund an outpost like somewhere in this area. So maybe I can find a good one uh, somewhere over here. Put him too close. So New England, let me know if you have any questions. Ah, okay. Uh, well, so so Lady Iron lives in uh in that area too. Wait, I I hadn't discovered this yet. much risk and effort with COVID stuff. We were going to Scotland. Would have been my sixth time there. My parents ended up still going and they said it's almost not worth it with everything closed. Oh, yeah. I bet. I bet. Domestication researched. Yeah. Now I can get some horses, too. Scout riders. Oh, let's go. Wrapping a light on this proto-calvary lacks saddles and stirrups and are not trained for charges and formations. But still, I could get some quicker... Oh. Oh, okay. Here's the tree. Just north of Boston. Look at that. More neighbors. So with domestication, I can now learn the wheel. 60 turns? Holy crap, Ola. I'm going to have to figure out how to get more science. That is way too much. Bronze working, though, comes on city defense. I would like to start working on some bronze. Banana 24? Hopefully I said that right. Cheers. Welcome in. Just northwest of Boston. Nice. Neighbors, see? Should say hello sometime. Got banned in a few minutes, so bye, everyone. Hopefully it's a good experience there, Phil. Hopefully you have a good time at band. We love the UK, but I agree with the rents that it's almost not worth it. Everything is closed. Yeah, for sure. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome in. How you doing? How you doing today? Uh, let's see. Carpentry is a gateway for the wheel. Oh, I need carpentry and domestication for the wheel. Uh, there's also masonry, which will then work in towards organized warfare. I think I'm going to go with city defense next. Let's work on that. Uh, oh, this is a, this is it. There's a territory over here. Uh, am I allowed to be here? Peacock. Time for your first battle. I bet you're absolutely dying to see how your fighters handle themselves. No, I'm not trying to fight. Not with this group. Let me ask for reparation. New grievance available. Wait a minute, what? Greetings, Sovereign. Are you with me? Or against me? Wait a minute, what? One of you that's a, that's a veteran going on here? Did they, they didn't actually attack me, did they? Or is it like saying that they're about to attack me? I'm confused. Grievance will expire in 10 turns. Hit that second when your army's at Peacock. Huh. Still alive. I fell asleep. They finally came like 10 minutes ago. There you go. Nice. Thought I missed it. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, although I don't have too much more time. Doing a great thing about buying the game, so I started searching for gameplay to see if I like it or not. It is free on Game Pass. So if you do have Game Pass, uh, or you were thinking about getting Game Pass, um, if that helps at all. Demand or renounce? Renounce to create a demand from this grievance. 
Entry shall not go unpunished until your demands are accepted or withdrawn. All trade between your empires will be suspended and borders will be closed. Okay, hang on a second. It says it will expire in 10 turns. So I have time, right? They attack me. Do they actually, though? I didn't... A second, let me... This army is fine. I'm not wanting to attack. So they must have started the attack, even though nothing has happened. I was just trying to, like, see if I could get through over here. Army will be destroyed of no free tiles. I think I can retreat, right? And it'd be fine? Uh, duh, when someone asks you dem whether demand or renounce, you always choose demand. Well, but then again, if there's no combat... I don't know, I'm super confused right now. Converting the Hittites in five turns? Oh my gosh, no, we don't want that. Yeah, so I basically, I can't stay in their area for too long. Okay. All right. So I need to retreat anyway. I don't want to lose this group. Right? What can go wrong? I barricade myself and the cats inside the bedrooms. They need to come and go from the apartment. Oh, good idea. Uh, I, I just, I just want to leave. We're supporting against the Hittites drops by five. Okay. Well, I had to learn sometime. So, all right, now how, so I can go back into this part here, surprise war, attacked me, so now I do a demand. Fortune Game Pass not available in my country, Uruguay. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Make recompense or you will suffer. I will not tolerate this. It's kind of a lot. Uh, you can renounce agreements at any time. This will also happen automatically after a few turns. You can also use agreements to justify demands to other empires. However, they are likely to view your demands as aggressive, so make sure you understand another empire's strength before you send them a demand. Uh, there you go, Balinor. Probably should have waited a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, what's done is done. What's done is done. Group's exhausted. They only had two moves as well. Um, okay, there's a sanctuary here, but I can't, I can't get there because their group is, I'm like adjacent to them, so I don't even know what to do. Uh, let maybe I'll start trying to combine these two. Come over here. Maybe I'll combine those if I can. I actually don't know if I can or not. Okay, this group is where again? Oh, this group is way out of here. All right. Um. But, oh, I was trying to work my way over here. Let's go. So let's see if I can get over there. All right. There's still one more. This is the one I'm looking for another... Yeah. Another place to build another outpost. Old Horde. We got 20 money from that. Zoomed in, this is almost looks like... Zoomed in, this almost looks like Attack on Titan. Really? Um, yeah, let's try to... I'm going to try to find another... Another good place for an outpost. Let's do this. Really try to expand my influence in this region here. Giant naked people running through fields. <laughs> in constructing an emblematic quarter, you have become a builder. And the Hittites a yielded. There is more to creating an empire than just yelling orders. Accepted my demand. Let's go. New grievances available. I accept your demand, but will prevail in spite of it. <laughs> You're a spineless little thing, aren't you? Whoa, easy there. Easy there, loots. Um, Renounce to create a demand from this grievance? I'm... They attack me again? Like, where are these coming from? The Hittites never yield, I know. What is this, though? Like, where is this at? Oh, did they create another? They created another place right where I was at. Okay, we'll What's see. What if I renounce? Done. I'm trying. I'm trying all things. This is just a tutorial, so might as well see what's going on. All I hear is swine rooting in the dirt. Oh, those are fighting words right there. Those are fighting words. Their war support is actually lower. Wait, wait, what is this? 
63 out of 100, but their bar looks lower than mine. Mine's 53? I don't understand. So yeah, they must have just founded a place over here? Or I don't, I don't understand. What is going on over here? Defend your flag. No, 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 no. Stop. I can't retreat? I don't know what's going on. I'm about to lose probably one of these armies, though. I can't even see anything. Oh, wait, really? Why did it put my... Okay. I have no idea what's going on. I have zero strategy skills for these games. Well, the, the problem is I don't even understand what I'm doing right now. Like, I, I didn't think I was being attacked, but apparently I am. I, I... Oh, they're already hurt, so they're probably... I think we'll be okay. Potentially. The combat strength is I is identical, but they're more hurt than I am. Oh my gosh, we took a massive hit though. Seriously? Okay, but they took another massive hit. Still, they had less health than I did at the beginning. Oh, come on, finish him. We both lost? How, how does this make any sense? AI is kind of aggressive early. Yeah, that's super aggressive, but I tried playing something similar. Did not understand it. Okay, well, I lost one of my hunting parties. So, okay. Interesting. But now I can move through here, it seems, potentially. Do I want to? All I was going to try to do is combine those groups. What is this? What is this? What does this mean? Okay, there's obviously somebody over here because I can only move one space in this direction. Whereas over here, I can move a lot more. Over this way. Let's see what this is. Silver. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, great. Follow me. Just going to kind of move those guys back. Um, okay, this group is the one that's trying to explore more north, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anywhere. The Hittites are just attacking everything right now. Oop, I want to grab that. We're in that, uh, we're currently in that area here in Uruguay. Wait, really? I just think I'll like these type of games and I find them too slow and kind of boring. That makes sense. They, there's a lot of buildup. There's a lot of buildup. Um, what if I go over here? Let's see what an outpost looks like in this general area. We got lots of trees. 20 influence. I've got 72 right now. Uh, let's see. That one is plus 11, plus 17. 8 and 14. Yeah, yeah, okay. So those are better. I kind of like the idea of it being built on a hill. But uh, it's going to take more turns. They're exhausted right now, so we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Hmm. What am I missing right now? There's... Um... 160 alphas? Okay, I could relocate if I wanted. Uh, I don't think I want to relocate, but... You know, the game Battlestar Galacta, I think it is like this in terms of being turn-based. How old of, how old of the game is that? Hmm. So how close am I? Did I... F oh, the construction is finished. Okay, shoot. That's why it wouldn't let me end my turn. So my Olmec head is generating influence here, which is great. Infrastructures. Plus four influence on main plaza. Worthless Ramus offers new possibilities for earlier industries. Where it's going to be easily, more easily stored and transported. Okay. Turns for three. Only three turns for completion. Horse ranch. Tracy of Plowers is this majestic animal strength with all man's endeavors. Ooh, a research quarter? 
Okay. Let's see. We can build a unit, of course, as well. Public ceremonies. Feast. When mouth-watering food, fine drink, and festive song comes together, much merriment ensues. Plus five food. Okay. Maybe I'll go with the uh, pottery workshop here. That's being constructed. There have been two seasons of it. I love the series, so I was look, taking a look at the game. Oh, it came out in 2017. Okay. Huh. <laughs> doing doing my nails. Whereabouts in Scotland? Love the series old and new. So I don't have to build this anywhere, right? I guess it's not a district. It was a it was an infrastructure. Okay. All right. I was only gonna take three turns, so I get more influence from it. Districts exploit all the resources. Uh huh. Uh huh. No need to be a pro at this for now, but something to bear in mind when you ramp up your city planning skills, of course. Okay, this group is going to try to build a outpost nearby. This is the recommended tile. Let's do it. Asterope. Okay. Uh, one or several constructibles cannot be built as you don't have the, enough access to the required resources. Obtain more access by building new extractors or by trading those resources with other empires. Um, which one can't be built? Really love the remake of Battlestar Galactic. It was so good. The remake? Is it this one? Oh, this one here. Okay. Yeah, that. Okay. Where's this thing at? Resources of naturally occurring deposits of valuable commodities. Ones with a cultural or economic interest are luxury resources, while those of strategic relevance are strategic resources. Empire set up to access a resource by constructing an outpost in the territory where the resource is found, then building an extractor district. Ah, okay, okay. That's good to know. Buying out constructions. You have enough money to out buy out. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. Save my money. Save my money. So I need to build an outpost near this question mark. But that would be kind of a close outpost to another one. Maybe it doesn't matter, though. Mm, let's go see what this shiny is. I don't think I'm going to be able to get there. The shiny might just be another person? I don't know. This group needs to grab that. 60 money. More money. Good but different. Darker. <laughs> Are you old enough to remember the original? Old enough to watch as a kid. Nice. Okay. Remake was good but different. Remake was really good. Huh. Okay. More complex and compelling narrative. Interesting. Oh, I've only heard good things, but I've actually not watched it myself. The saber staring at the door because of the banging. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to do one more turn, my friends. One more turn here. Um, I might see if I can figure out this resourcing thing. Uh, this question mark over here. I don't know what it's like building outposts super close together. I don't know what that does. That's a bad thing, good thing, doesn't matter. I'm not really sure. So we'll just kind of see. Um, move one here. What is this shiny? What does the shiny mean? I don't actually know. Uh, maybe I'll wait to build a an outpost over here so I can mine some of this copper. But then again, I don't. I need to get the bronze working before I can do that. So maybe the silk is what I want to do. There's also another question mark over here. So yeah, maybe this this will just be an outpost party here soon. Really good since your district gets adjacency bonuses from each other. Okay. So if you build too close, you can put more farmer quarters or make makers districts together. Gotcha. Okay. Usually hides under vape as the door shut. He feels a bit braver. <laughs> Just a little bit. Probably scary. Bought the newer Battlestar Galactica, Galactica series on DVD. Now, to find me, now I need to find my DVD player. Shoot. I, we still do technically have a DVD player. I think that's it for those. How close am I now? San Lorenzo. Is it one turn? One more turn, we'll get the pottery workshop. Okay, so this will probably be my last turn. Hopefully I can save mid-game. I'm not really sure how that works in this. 
if your kids have a console, there's your DVD player. That's true. That is true. This one is done now. Um, so I should be getting more influence and I am. Let's go with uh, food. Or maybe stability or in industry. Let's see, which one is this more? Uh, food. Okay, maybe food would be... Let's go with industry, actually. Um, can only be placed on horses deposit. Okay, that's a horse ranch. And there isn't a horse ranch that close. There's one down here. Oh, I guess I'm doing it right there. I didn't realize you could build it from that far away. Okay, well... Uh, it's, it's only going to take four turns, so we'll see how that goes. There's something else over here, too. Follow me. Let me get there. Another curiosity of 60 money. Kind of moving in the opposite direction I wanted to, but that's all right. Horses are really good to get online. Okay, sounds good. Reader has a disk drive. Does that count? This, uh, I have one computer that has a disk drive, but another one doesn't. Okay. I don't want to fight the Hittites. There's not much to be gained from that. So can I just defend? Is there a way to just... I mean, I can skip my turn. Hold this position indefinitely until you give a new order to this army. Okay, I'm going to do that. Um, And then this group is not doing much of anything right now. So... Maybe we kind of do the same thing. Scout for a future future territory up here. We'll keep an eye on okay. Um, you can get air stars by killing units, so you get fame for winning the battle. True, um, but we're 14 to 14, so I don't know what that's going to do. I'm going to save this. Oh, wow. Okay, this saved every turn. Okay. All right, my friends. Unfortunately, I got to get to work, um, but this has actually been a super cool game. I'm excited to see how this game turns out. We'll continue playing this again on Thursday. Um, so remember, remember everybody. Uh, well, actually, let's go to the tavern first. Me in the tavern, and then we'll talk. My friends, um, again... I had many thoughts about the day off Twitch for tomorrow. Um, if you missed those, I would rewind. It was early on in the in the VOD, be able to see that. Um, but my plan for now, and I will change it in Discord. I will update you if it changes in Discord. This is my plan for tomorrow, okay? And for the rest of the month, for that matter, all right? Uh, so for those of you who don't know, there's a day off Twitch that's taking place tomorrow. Um, I've shared my thoughts on it, but I'll just kind of summarize here. Um, I think that the the heart of the movement is in the right place. Uh, I believe the execution is severely flawed, um, but I'm still going to be showing some support. At least this is my plan. I'm going to be showing some support for that movement. Um, it doesn't hurt me in any way, really, to go ahead and, and join the movement. So my thought is that tomorrow we will not stream. Uh, instead, I'll use that time to work on some content for uh, the channel. Um, and so I'll have that for you. Hopefully I'll have a few things uh, wrapped up by tomorrow. Um, and then when we come back on Thursday, when we come back on Thursday, uh, from Thursday through the rest of September, when we do our raids, uh, we're going to be looking for, uh, creators that are using like the, unless, unless we have some, some existing relationships, uh, with creators, we're going to be looking for new creators that we can do some love raids or hype raids for. Um, we'll go in and I'll, I'll do a, a donation to that streamer. Um, uh, and that way they get more of a cut of the money as opposed to going through Twitch. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that'll be out throughout the rest of the month of, uh, of September. So that's my plan. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you're curious at all, uh, more of my thoughts, I would say rewind the VOD. Uh, I went into much more detail before, but that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I, I don't agree hundred percent with the, uh, execution or sort of the, uh, like, like everything that. I don't think that this this uh, protest is going to accomplish exactly what they want to protest, but uh, I think that it's a it's a start, you know, and that's kind of the way I'm looking at it. It's a start, um, and it doesn't it doesn't cause me any harm to do this, you know. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw my hat in the ring there, um, support those that that are doing this, 
Um, and uh, we'll be doing some, yeah, ally raids. That's a good way of putting it. Uh, so we'll be doing some ally raids throughout the remaining month of uh, September. So yeah, all right. Um, if you have any more questions about that, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, you can rewind the VOD, get my whole like stumbling and bumbling on myself to get that 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 thought out. Um, but yeah, uh, let me get some some cheers going too. We had a, we had a lot of support that I want to make sure I recognize today. We we love you too, Lady Iron. Watch me forget and be like, why isn't he streaming? <laughs> Asuka came in with the big lip donation. That was pretty interesting. <laughs> Appreciate that, Asuka. We got cheers from Lady Iron, Moe, and Nonder. Appreciate that. Throwing the gold coins in there. Uh, Coleman and Pierre on the mod duties. We have followers from uh, Kanana24. Hope I'm saying that right. And YouTube streaming. Uh, as well as subs from Nisalius, Professor EXP, and Low320. Super appreciate everybody being here today. Uh, I know that humankind is uh, definitely a bit of a learning curve in getting into this game, but uh, but it's kind of cool. It's uh, I, I'm interested to see how these games work out. So you have an amazing rest of your day too, you DJ. You guys are all you're amazing too. You know that. Cheers, everybody. I do seriously love the guild, um, and I will miss you all tomorrow. But uh, as I said, I'll be thinking about you because I'll be doing some some content work for the community. So uh, so yeah. Um, and of course, I'm always open for a chat in Discord. So, this is my cheers to you, and this is my cheers for uh, Steph as well. Oh my gosh! Water came back and splashed me a little bit in the eye. <laughs> Thanks for the smooth voice in the background. Oh, you got anytime, yes, anytime. All right, my friends. Hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you on Thursday. Until then, take care of yourselves. Be safe out there, and I will see you real soon. Bye.